I don't know. You can you can have like a dry sense of humor. You can be funny by being the non-funny guy. Yeah. Someone's got to do it. Man. Someone someone has to have deadpan humor. Yeah. This is Okay. I've plans. Oh my god, he's throwing grass floors at me. I only a little. I'm going to expand this upper section so we can put some uh some gardens up here cuz I'm gardens tired of are very good. Okay. You I was I was worried you were about to tell me the gardens are bad. Gardens are really good once we get the pond lab done cuz it's right. they actually added uh, the ability to grow mussel sprouts in 1.2 which I was not able to do when I played through it which was it was it was just a waste of time cuz to get mussel sprouts which are for making slushies uh it's one of the ingredients you can put into your slushie to make them better. Uh -huh. You have you unlock the ability to harvest them uh, at the pond lab but in order to get more it was kind of a resource node you had to swim all the way down go through the thing pick them up come back out and people were like can we just can we just grow them and obsidian's like yeah we can grow them <laughs> thank you i've discovered the wind up on a throw is quite frustrating yeah sometimes if you do it midair it will just go in a different direction I ah, did that was so find close. out if you stand okay. underneath and throw the ball or the pebble straight up, you get two, which uh, I'm pretty sure is going to break the entirety of the NBA. So don't tell them. <laughs> I I don't. Oh, that would have been great if it bounced on the spider's web as well. Sam. Oh, can you do that? Can you can you uh, score I don't think one? It, off I don't of... think it works. That would have been amazing. Oh, because that would have been a way of getting the the eighty centimeter three point. Oh, it does go off. It does go off the bounce. Oh, does it? It does. Oh, that's fantastic. It's just a little bit too close to actually. Do it from let's, the other side. Um... Oh, that that uh... was. I didn't. <laughs> oh, just, too far. Just smacks it. <laughs> you go over to the other side on the balcony. Oh. And when you throw it, I'll pick it up and throw it back to you. Okay. Oh, wow, that hits with some <laughs> we, we need to remember we are damaging our base with this. Every anytime the pebble hits be fixed. the floor. That's true. This is grass. grass I believe Madi was the one who needed uh the last of the insect tools. Uh oh, that went by way too fast. Oof. It is gone. It is. Yeah. Let me check the insect so. tools. Um, I ended up, we made me the insect axe and the insect hammer last time. I think we, we need it at the very end. So Do we I all have, have tier, tier two axe two. and hammer? I think so. Okay. Uh, I think, oh was, yeah, we killed a ladybug last at the time, end. Of, yeah. Yeah, we like kept talking for our quote unquote outro for like an extra 30 minutes. And at the end you went, here's <laughs> both of the tools yeah. that we were going to save for next time. Yeah, that was an interesting, interesting <laughs> time. Oh, God damn it. I hate when I do that. I deposited my gas mask and my bow. Why? Hey, look, it's a wander arrow. This bay equipment I... that we've got. Where? Uh, below the base. Huh. A little orb weaver. Okay, so oh, I can plant. Uh, what can I plant in the garden? I'm assuming most plant things? Because I see Most I can... plant things. Yep. You can grow spr uh, sprigs if we need sprigs for. Can we really make anything big. that gets us food? What is going on, Dub? Uh, uh, I think I a ladybug is fighting or something? No. There's I not think many. It's, there's it's not like many a veggie stink bug and a Dang. spider? I have no idea what's going on, but it sounds pretty entertaining. I'm going to go and have a look. It is... I'm sorry, is that two stink bugs fighting each other? Or are they... No, they're fighting a single red worker ant who is somehow still alive? Yeah, I made the... I made... I walked past the ant and he got mad at me. Ah. He's apparently... Ah. He's apparently fighting two stink bugs and they're just... Not... I, mean, I believe in him. I've, I believe in him. Wholeheartedly. Oh god, these chests. I know it's in here somewhere. Oh. Okay. I have... We should 
we should label the chests. Maybe a little bit uh, more Probably of a fair fight for the, the chest band. too. And lay and label them. Yeah. Is it on the? Is it on a mannequin? Oh, wow. God damn. Where does he hate? Ooh. I was super low to. I must have been super low on health for that to take me out that quickly. That's all right. Level up those mutations. Am I crazy? Is there a mutation from getting poisoned so many times that... No, from reviving him. Oh. We can't build Bringing up a resistance. That would be pretty amazing, though. Not gonna lie. I mean, you get poison resistance for the uh, mithridatism for killing wolf spiders. Yeah. This is for his overall, overall poison resistance. Okay, I'm... I'm... I'm fuming. Why? Where is... Did I not make a bubble helmet? Or did I just make gill tubes? You just made gill tubes. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, oh, so that's I'm, right. I only, I only went down once. I'm going to specifically oh. snag a bunch of our kind of useful equipment and move it to a completely different chest. Yeah, that I is... think that's a good call because ah. that is so annoying. I am going to get jump scared by that... Uh, by that jump pad endlessly because they just keep clipping it and then flying don't worry i well i mean we we have to decide where our tower is going to be our tower yeah for, for like, tower honestly hot take here Right in the middle? Yeah. Like So we I, could build it the way that I build mine, if you guys are interested, because it's it saves it's, it saves time. And it, it does involve bounce pads. It 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 involves abusing physics. Okay. So if, if okay. you build a if you I'm build listening. a if you build a grass wall and then if you rotate a bounce pad directly on the square behind it in the right orientation, you can walk into the wall and bounce up against the wall and get it and just keep going up. Okay. That And you just you just build a tower without the need for ladders. Yeah. Because okay. ladders are awful. Yeah. I'm going to let so, you know we don't want ladders. So vertical peasant railgun. Sounds good. Exactly. Okay, well, I'm. I mean, I'm down for exploring. The and then it could just is just having lots of bounce pads and kind of going satisfactory style. <laughs> like, what around like? Just, well, I mean, it it is multiple bounce pads. Every every two floors has a bounce pad. You just bounce, 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 bounce until you. Oh, so it's just like like visually less appealing, but pretty much exactly the same thing. It's like an elevator without buttons. Right, okay, I, I see where you're going with it now. Yeah. I, I, I understand it a bit better. Yeah. I still like the idea of, of, of a slowly rotating series of bounce pads going around the perimeter, but for now, Peasant Railgun seems like the faster option. Let's make some progress. Ooh, uh, oh, right, that and getting the, um, that and getting the pond lab. Yeah. we are not even remotely prepared for that's what i that's been my slow but slow but steady thing while you guys were doing other stuff last week i just swimming around in the pond picking stuff up don't we only need the bubble helmets what else would we need for pond lab we need four bubble helmets and we need it so the resources at, at the bottom of the pond that you use the the bones and the uh Koi scales are kind of finite, kind of like acorns for, for each day. And so oh, in a four-player server, every... Basically, I, just, I swim down there once a day, I pick up the resources, I come back up, and then we get distracted with something else until the next spawn happens. Okay. Uh, Sounds like a plan. For entering the pond lab, you need at least fin flippers, if not the blue slushy which i don't even think we have access to yet do we have the liquid gills the ability to craft liquid gills the the drink i don't think we do yet we might because i think we researched all the water stuff nice stuff though 
Didn't look like it. The koi oh. is uh the koi is a big upset. There's uh liquid gills and then there's slip swimmer. I forget both of them are really good, but Realistically, in a, in a perfect world, four bubble helmets so we could all do the pond lab together in a, like, weird situation. We could have two people do pond lab, two people do haze lab, but I don't really like, I don't, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like the idea of nah, don't splitting, split the, the party. splitting the, splitting nah, the party up. It Experience together. it together. Yeah. Together. Oh, I love you, Rikard. I have been slowly convincing myself that I don't need to play another run of Elden Ring, but I really I've want to. I've been slowly convincing myself I need to do another Dark Souls 1 through 3 run. <laughs> I have like, been flirting great with idea. the idea of doing a Dark Souls, a full Dark Souls run, yeah. I'm in, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm off with well over, yeah, I'm well overdue at this point. I'm well overdue. Okay, so as far as things that we can do right now, what should we be working on? Um, I, did we still we want to try to reset work? our sleep schedule? We still, I, like right yeah. now we can't sleep until one, but we've worked that back from not being able to sleep until like four. Yeah, yeah sure. we also were, we're, we're under the... attack. That spider needs to die. We could also, like, go west, young man. Let the evil go east. Well, I was going to say... We could we just could... go get level two shovels immediately. Yeah. I mean, that I, would be great. I was going to say, specifically, that, if you want to do a different lab, we could do the... Um... Let's see, we could, we could do the gas lab. Or the haze lab. Haze lab is pretty good, yeah. It's, uh... It does give us the the time to build up resources for water. That's the one. It's it's the trickle down of needing all of the scales and bones and. Hey, slab! You just need a bomb and gas masks. Pretty 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 simple. Oh, we used all our bombs, so we're gonna need another one of those. Ah, oh, it's easy. It's just fungal growths and red ant eggs. We just gotta go it's steal some babies. Bucket. I might die. I'm not gonna die. Instead of dying, I have chosen to live. Oh, hello, there's his friend. Didn't realize there was another one down the time. Well, we do need the sills. I don't think we need the spider parts, unfortunately. Uh, not immediately, no. By the time, like, bug parts and especially sap, like, sap... Oh I, I mentioned it early, uh, earlier in the, in, the, in the playthrough that sap is maybe the most important resource in the game. And so we're gonna... That's, that's something that is a, to, on the to-do list. That's in my Word document is... We need basic zip lining, just, like, fast access to, like, oak tree from our base. Uh, okay. And we need to get a bunch of sap collectors at least starting to starting to be built up. Unfortunately, I've managed to get stuck in a web that I can't hit off. Is there another one? Oh no. It's just a worker ant. Okay. I'm going to die. Oh, I picked up some of your feather arrows somehow. I dropped them on yeah. the ground for you. Thank you. I thought I didn't automatically pick up other people's arrows, but... Yeah, so did I, but I noticed that, uh... I was picking up arrows that I'm absolutely certain I didn't shoot. It is time for us to sleep if we want to try to reset. Okay. Yeah, let me just get my arrows back. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get out of the pond. I managed so, to collect a bunch of silk from down underneath the rock with a... Spiders were webbing. I'm just gonna throw them on the spindles. Yep. I made a bunch of rope between sessions since I was just doing other things. We should have I cheat. like a lot. 
Nom, nom, oh, nom, did nom, you nom. move this? Oh, nom, 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 nom. Did you move the uh, equipment to a different chest? It's the one yeah. next to the workbench. Yeah. Okay. I moved fantastic. it over there so we wouldn't keep uh, whoopsieing our right. treasure chests full of random bad stuff. Like, ah! There's one benefit of the pond. I never go hungry. I just eat the entire seafloor. Fair enough. Algae is a. Uh, oh, it's, it's just it's just an improved mushroom, basically. <laughs> and I can't sleep at this base because of the skaters. Let me still deposit a load of arrows and. Gas mask. I need to move. Yeah, my gas mask went over there. Where did my arrows go? All right, six bones, seven scales for that day's amount. Well, that's again, that's our toy. That's our toy or weaver. That's oh, so scary. You it's on not worse, but back, Panther? Oh yeah. We built we built a little bit away from the the pond entrance, so and it's slow going without a bubble helm. Even even the gill tube doesn't give you it only gives you like sixty seconds of breathing. Fair isn't enough. there isn't there a better bed that we were trying to make as well? You can build the normal, the actual bed that gives you comfy, like entire buffs for the whole day. It gives you hunger and thirst drain buffs for the entire day. It's crow feathers, I think, was the thing we needed for it, but we should have oh. crow feathers now. Uh, maybe. <laughs> you did make a bunch of feather arrows, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, well, that's fine. We can just go get more crow feathers. We can just yeah, scan for them. Fine. Sleep. I don't know if this actually ended up resetting our sleep schedule much. I doubt no. it will. Who are you missing? Somebody is. Some, someone is not sleeping. I am. I just double check. There we go. Uh, who was it? Who's I guess it was me, even though I stood by the lean to the whole time. But did you lean by the lean to? That's true. I didn't. You kind of like mm. shoulder up against the wall. Striking Pretty offensive. nonchalant pose, bit of a devil may care attitude. We are yep. scanning for crow feather pieces right now. You might have to reset the scan. It doesn't. If it, what's the time on it? Oh, uh, yeah, fifty-eight hours. You're gonna have to reset it because remember, uh... new ones respawn. It doesn't. It doesn't update. You have to enhance. You have to rescan every time. I see. Which is, I like. That makes sense. You have to, like, toggle it off and be like, hey, find me new ones. All right, I think it's time for us to head out. If nothing else, I'm going to start gathering up some food and uh, other gubbins so that we can make stuff on the cookery. Yeah. So I'm mostly just looking for gnats and aphids, honestly, so I probably should have gone out oh. last night, really. Yeah. But Eight other than that... That's ridiculous. That's gonna be a tough, tough ask. Oh, is it a quest? No, for four shut four uh, black ant shovels. That's. I'm curious how strong black ants are with four people, because they're they're not easy even in single player. Well, there's one way to find out. <laughs> Wonder should, science. Wonder should also make a if well, you don't have a set bonus right now, do you? Because you're not wearing or do you are wearing full I, B? I, are you? Yeah, I got B. Okay, I was gonna say you could also if you weren't wearing full B, you can make the marksman's cap, which gives you a pretty huge um, mark uh, range bonus. But if you're all one shotting, I wouldn't swap it. All right, there's one bubble helm. Oh, 
And fall damage. Nope, no, no fall damage. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're not panicking. I'm just out on an aphid hunt today, I think, then. That's going to be my primary focus. I would like it if we all have crazy amounts of food to go on the we next hunt with. don't have a cooking... Oh, we do. Okay. We do? We have a cookery. I've been eating aphid loaf. Oh, I, I just meant the, the the roasting spit itself. It's it's hidden under the jerky rack. Yeah, clever spot. But it yeah, blends into it well. It just it just felt right, like you know, because in yeah. my head the jerky rack is, is like a smoking rack. So it's like, well, I'll put the fire underneath that, get the extra smoke. Mm -hmm. I love games that allow you to play stuff like that. There's another game called Icarus. It's a survival crafter. Mm. And, That's a good uh, one. I enjoy placing the mortar and pestle at various, like, uh, the the uh, the hearth, the uh, fireplace hearth. You can place the mortar and pestle up on the hearth, it, and it satisfies me in a way that it's difficult to describe. Just being able to tuck buildings into other buildings in neat ways so you can have more compact builds is just very, very pleasant. I need to play that game again. Last time I played it, it was on my old computer, and the performance was not happy with me. No. Uh, it is a really, really fun game. I was totally down for some uh, some missions in Icarus. Yeah. Wait a Should second. we consider throwing up some really bog-standard temporary little builds? So we've got retreat locations. Simple stuff like a bed... Like a, a lean-to inside oh, a little grass structure sort of thing. I I am all for, for uh, like I, like yeah. operating bases. Yeah, I I have. I, I was thinking Until what we should do is just build a bunch of weird towers with yeah that stuff at the bottom and then mm -hmm. uh and the zip lines, zip lines top, back here. That sounds yeah. really good. Though I don't... if you've got zip lines back, there's no point in having the staging base in a way. If you, no. mm. so that's how you used to have to do it. Uh, because there was no back and forth, there was no up and down zip line until 1.2, which we won't unlock for quite a while. But uh, as far as just like zipping, zip lining to a place, I, I'm I think having a zip line go to an area and then have like a lean to and even just like a chest and a cooking spit at the bottom of it. Yeah, for okay. now is is fine. It I was not aware that much... you could go back up zip lines. It was added in 1.2 because people were very mad at the amount of resources it took to build a two-way zipline system. Because it's like, if you're going across the yard, you're talking like 140 uh, yeah. silk rope. It's ridiculous. So they added a upgrade that you get. We don't have access to it yet. It's similar to the Super Duper. You just progressively get it through the story. Uh, okay. uh, I think the two-way zipline is post lab five so we're a ways away from it oh wow yeah well i mean, I mean you can you can do things right. out of order <laughs> yeah, I was gonna re say. Re realistically we could do it now but we would probably get annihilated because black ant lab is a nightmare <laughs> i have quite a few people who've played this and have been commenting all oh, you know these labs that lab they're uh trials but i found the the hedge lab just simply a, a maze more than a trial. There's a spider wall at the place. base, though. Yeah, the the hedge lab is more of a platforming section. Yeah, the, yeah. that's definitely pond, what the vibe I got from it. Pond lab is like, it's it's like a meter management system. It's like a meter management one, like managing your uh, it's also very claustrophobic. That's a warning I will give. It's very depending on how you feel about closed spaces. Uh, but it's, it's it's like a breath management. Unless you're prepared for it, which I'm, that's what it's I've been working on. Cause it's, yeah, because preparing for it makes it a lot. Deposited my dang ant club again. I'm just going to destroy every other ant club in the base. Yeah, I'm sorry. No one's that's using fine. them, and I keep running well, away from like 200 centimeters away from the base without a yeah. weapon. <laughs> it is absolutely okay. I got it was slowly driving me insane every time I would dump something useful into those chests and then spend the next five minutes looking for it. 
But as far as the Haze Lab goes, Haze Lab is oh, really good lord. straightforward. I had no idea I had been that effective. Um, we're gonna have aphid jerky for days. Hey, I came back with twelve aphids. I I feel bad. Oh, little guys. Yeah, right. press the lobotomize button. Um, would you lobotomy? I found the weird Frankenstein thing. The like etch a sketch oh. boy. Did you know you can draw on it? I do now. Yeah. I can't see what you're the drawing time though. We get over there to find a masterpiece, Marty. Oh, I. You have to have two different people for it. <laughs> Because you have to work each knob individually. I can only go straight line. Oh, wow. That's actually... I bet there are some people who've done ridiculous things. I mean, yeah, there's community. been some... There's been some, some funny ones. I've seen on the subreddit early in the early access. Pretty... You give the internet tools, and the internet will find a way. Yep. Mm. Okay. Please so, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please aphids. don't kill me. Currently jerkifying. Right, that sounds wrong. Um, for aphids indeed. drying on the jerky rack. <laughs> Lord. Um, what is the next most important thing to work on? If somebody wants to set up some sap catchers at the oak tree. Yeah. Holy crap. That tadpole was so much... It's... Okay, it's not actually bigger. It looked so much bigger, though. I am going to get eaten by the... Yep. Slapped out of existence. But hey, it's okay. It's okay. These things happen. Sometimes you koi, and sometimes you don't koi. We do have the one sap catcher over here. I don't know if we should do the sap catcher. Should we do the sap catcher first or set up the zip line to the oak tree first and then put the sap catchers have next to the zip line? Have we got need for the zip line already? Zip line is, I believe it was just weed stems, clay, and rope. They're okay, really easy I to build, yeah. We set up the zip line first to get us over to the oak tree. And if you really it's, want it's to be- It's going to be a pain in the backside to carry all the stuff over there to build the sap catchers. Hmm. And if you really want to be like super super cheeky about it, you can just build like the the one way where you build the the launching point, which is the frame that has the the handle and everything on it, and then you can build anchors, which is I believe just clay and a bee stinger, and you attach it to a wall, and it's a one way zip line where you drop off at the end. Okay. So those are those are useful for really nothing. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Especially now that there's two-way zip lines. If I'm gonna zip to an area, I prefer to be able to zip back. But that's just maybe just me. Hello, water flea. I appreciate you dying. Oh my god, that's right, we have the water flea. Quest. Which is good, because water fleas do have good no. meat. Uh, well, I went looking for uh, crow feathers. Mm -hmm. Um, it's in a bad place. The haze? Yeah. Mm. Well, okay, so the haze, the ones that are in the haze, like in the ravines there, I believe are static spawns. Oh. I don't think those ones... Things. I don't think those ones are the nodes that the crow actually drops. Well, that's I kind found of like your them, but yeah. boy. It's brutal down there. Yeah. It's brutal down there. <laughs> How did I live? Uh through the miracle of science and magic. Sprinting. There's a milk molar down there though. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it didn't respawn yet. What a what a uh, tremendous oof. 
How That's right. unbelievably bold am I? Well, I hope you guys are ready to see just like a miraculous amount of pop-ups. If Wander's bold too, because Madi found one. I found a Mega Milk Molar. By found, I mean wow. I, I, knew, I knew it was there, but I might die for it. I think it's worth it. A worthy death. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna die. Oh, you promised us death. I okay. I there's sixty uh, percent, and I'm not gonna say of which sixty percent okay. life or sixty percent death. Just a sixty percent of one of them. Okay. Duly noted. I haven't decided yet. Oh, this rock requires an explosive. Oh, I know where you are. <laughs> You're at the upper... Uh, yep. Yeah. The upper yard ascent. That's a danger. But it's a How fun... How high can one bounce pad take you? One bounce pad is, I believe, two Ooh. stories. Ooh. It'll, it'll take you Ooh. over the second story. But it's on the second Ooh, jump. The right. first jump is smaller. Because... The bounce pad we've got, I would like to know if I'm able to get... I might be able to squeeze three of them. Let me, let me try. Let's move you. I'll move you by jumping on you. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I don't think it would take me up to three. That's a shame. That would have been very useful. Okay. Yeah. Not like this. Okay. Ooh. Uh, how does structural integrity in this game work? Barely. Anything like that in yeah. This it... I I haven't seen a structure uh like completely collapse under its own like weight. I think it still all boils down to if something at the base of it gets smacked. So I'm not sequence breaking, I just needed to live. Don't judge me. Oh, we're gonna judge you. I had to go into the first room of the haze, or the, the pond lab, to get oxygen. You're being judged, right. I'm being, well, I'm used to it. I'm on the internet. <laughs> Honestly, if I wasn't being judged, I would think I was in a simulation. There's a bone over here. Oh my god, we're just losing our mind. And we're building sap catchers. This game is ours. They can't defeat us. Where's my lamp? Did I not bring my lamp? I did, okay. There are lamps? Slime lantern. Ooh. For underwater torch. Ah. Otherwise, ah. this section of the game is <laughs> awful. Especially for people who are oh, terrified of water like me. I've lived again. Again. Why do you sound disappointed? I keep expecting death. Hmm. So many freaking bones. Oh, we need grass. Damn it. We're out of grass. How did this happen? We're out of like actual like grass grass? Yeah. I didn't just... Madi kill the entire Amazon? I did. We had two almost full pallets still, but we go through it pretty fast. That is, that I am is building a, a tower. Ooh. Yeah, and for the the uh like the way that it works if you put the bounce pad in the middle and you do the ascend with the spray with the bounce pad thing. So, so yeah, every every two floors, I put one on a on a floor. So you like build one, miss a floor, build one, such and such, and 
You just kind of, you got to find the right angle on it. They might have fixed it to where it works no matter how it's rotated, but I know in the early access version, it only I know, I'm just building was, a two by two yeah. tower at the moment. Evac. I just want to see how high we can get up to. Just well, just as a retort on the whole uh, I lived thing, take a take a look at grounded chat for how uh, how much HP I've got left. One point two. I don't actually know what the value is. I don't Can you either. see. I don't believe so. Yeah, I have no HP. Literally none. Wonder, could you say a couple of things? I'm oh, am I getting crackly getting again? Crackle. He's, yeah, all, he's, all, he's all smacky again. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mega Milk Molar is up to three? Oh, God. I'm hearing myself through Wander. I know, but it was so good because it was that sentence echoed. And, yep. Yeah. Am I better? I think so. I wish I our Mega Milk Molar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, grass mutation. We're at two, so we can either get max consumable size, max air size, or save up for one more and get resource stack size again. I'm still Wait, a fan of saving for resource stack. We only yeah. need one more for resource? Yeah. For resource three, oh. yeah. We're, we're up oh, to we could right, we could just go get another Mega, uh, mega Milk Molar. I know where a bunch of them are. Ooh. Re consumable stack size is really good, though. It, it, it shouldn't be slept on completely, but it, it's resources so good <laughs> is the thing. I'm here, water flea. I'm gonna end your miserable existence. Well, we know the water flea's existence is miserable. They might be very happy with his existence. Imagine being bottom heavy in the water. Come on. <laughs> That's me. It's me. <laughs> I. I don't really uh, swim. I just kind of try not to sink. I've got really heavy legs. I don't swim because I hate water. But if I am in the water, I sink a great deal. Yeah. Oh. What about you, Marty? Or am I the only person who enjoys swimming? I I enjoy swimming. Um, I haven't been in a little while, at least since I moved, because I don't know anybody with a pool, and I'm not going to probably buy a pool membership in Washington. I don't know. It's been it's been hot enough now. It it is a little bit expensive, but it's also like unless it's an indoor heated pool, you're not gonna want to be swimming for at least six months out of the year, if not more. Oh, okay. Um the only thing I remember is God, probably not as much anymore, but I had crazy low body fat content when I was doing like soccer and stuff oh, a couple right, of years so, back. Yeah. I could not float for the life of me. Yep. Could not float. I, yeah, especially like my legs. I just immediately like I'd try to lay on my back, legs would go down, then the rest of me would follow. I wish though. It looks so much fun to just kind of like drift lazily around, like sunbathing in the pool. Yeah, there is a certain certain uh, joy to simply uh, floating. You just need to wear multiple pairs of water wings. Do you think Sun Tzu enjoyed sunbathing? I'm... Oh, you can't be that disappointed in that question. Well, the only through line is that his name is Sun Tzu. Oh. Yeah. You gotta have more than that for it to be good. Yeah, absolutely it's not. Lazy. That's not lazy. lazy. Super lazy. I'm definitely uh, uh, beginning plan. to appreciate Molly's method of just chop everything down and not There's worry about all the gills. stems. But unlike Molly, I then go through and have the catharsis of chopping up all the stems as well. Yeah, but then you don't have a clear vision of what you have done, what havoc you have wrought on Plus the I have a clear local... vision of what I've done. It used to be a forest of grass blades. Yeah. It now is a wide open plain. What are these hosta plants? It says I can attack them. What does that do for You can me? get flowers. Flower petals from the tops, from the mm -hmm. blooms. Huh. I'm not sure what that, that is useful. Flower petals? 
Yeah. Lots of stuff. Flower petals are for a lot of building things. Um, mm-hmm. And they're also for, I believe, ladybug armor, actually. Oh. Sounds good. Also for something else that's important and I don't remember. What the heck are they for? Why am I why am I blanking on this? I almost think we, this won't be able to go one higher. We can go to bed reasonably early tonight if we do want to. Otherwise we can sure, just I stay am out. Totally down for that. It really mostly water, depends please. on Penta. Yeah. Who's all at the base? Penta? I mean I'm nearby. I can just probably build a dangling too, honestly. Okay. I'll just go to the other side of the pond that. real quick. Yeah. We'll get that going. We can give it a shot. Pretty successful pond today, I will not lie. Okay, so the bounce I, I was right, but the the uh, bounce pad can take you up three f- stories. Yeah, it takes you to the, the if you ha- if you're talking like grass floors, it takes you to the third one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was I have uh chronic inability to explain things well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I don't think it was you. I think it was the um, difference between um, British and American ideas of stories. Ah, uh, floor zero. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, because for me, first floor is ground floor. Mm. Right, right. No, that was, that was just a miscommunication. I'm going to... I am also very bad at explaining things. So it was probably a, it's equal parts. The American way of looking at first floor is confusing too, because it's either first floor on a house is ground floor, but if you're talking about a hotel or a business, ground floor is ground floor and first floor is the first floor up. It gets yeah, messy. Mm. I think they do that for like room numbering purposes though, right? Because the first floor is the 100 rooms. Yeah, but like, mm. I've, eh. Because I've been in hotels where you're like, it's G01, and that's just weird. Yeah. That's my favorite uh, 50 Cent group. Cool. I wouldn't even try. I wouldn't even try to analyze it. I don't... (laughs) I don't know enough about 50 Cent to even yes, understand his, the his rap group is G-Unit. Is, uh... Hello, Mr. Ant. All right. Boink. I, I'm trying Let's to think of place. whether or not I've ever actually listened to 50 Cent for any reason. I think the answer is only through somebody else's Let's Play of Blood in the Sand. Which is uh, like uh, 50 cent, but oh no, my inventory's full. Consume water flea. Or water flea. I mean, you can eat them raw, so is is one of the benefits of killing six of them. Oh no! No! Hello, (laughs) Lady. That's amazing. That was so, so absolutely wonderful. What happened? I deconstructed a floor above the bounce pad, so the grass fibers just started bouncing endlessly. <laughs> oh. That was glorious. Yeah. So if I were... A little yes. lamp? If I man? were a... Yeah, dee, 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 dee. There we go. Oh, I'm trying to. I'm exploring the oak tree to find a. I don't often build on the stink bug rock, okay. so I'm exploring the oak tree, looking for a, a good anchor point set up for a zip line attach here. Okay, because I've got a decent height to this. I can take it up a, a, another three. Stories, if you'd like. Is that as long as it's a, as long as it's easy, like relatively easy to climb. World, you 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 go to the heavens, man, if you want. Oh, hello, wolf spider. Would you like I'm to, to that, end my that, life? That uh, phrase in using a different context, and it for a few seconds, my brain basically hard reset. 
My lord. Yeah, the real problem when it comes to early game ziplining is since you're going, you need to be at least at a, a flat descent, right? So like a minus one degree, if you think of it like that. Mm -hmm. uh, because if it's angled up at all without that upgrade, you just get on it and then fall back to your starting position. So you want to always yeah. have it high enough to... Oh, if, what's on to, earth is going on here? To where you go over other parts of the the yard. Did you find the massive amount of ants going or something else? Is there a huge kaiju battle going on here, Marty? You, what? We do live on a... It just, basically... It, it, all hell broke, broke out just out of nowhere, though. <laughs> it was like, oh, <laughs> oh my. Uh, and then I need six wood stem or clay. Where am I clay at? I don't want to go over there, though. That's so far. <laughs> it's not far at all, but it's just so far. Make up your mind. Why? That was oh. so, so <laughs> the way you said that was so just it was like a yeah all right <laughs> acceptance in the tone yeah. why goodbye I mean, I mean yeah there is an element of acceptance oh there's a crow feather on top of, like, a gazillion blades of grass. And I'm trying to decide if I can even get over to it. The problem is, uh, spawn has been taken over by ants. Like, our house has? Uh, no, no, like, the initial starting area. Oh. Got a whole bunch of worker ants just angy in the area. Kill them. Yeah. No, don't touch the grass. Whip your axe. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that sounded amazing. Don't touch the grass. Don't you attack okay. me, Larva. Maldi, do you think we should take it up another three um, stories, or do you think this is tall enough? He's muted. Oh no, he went to pee. I think you should take it up another three. Okay. In the words of Scott Stapp, can you take me higher? Ah. No! I know, I, I shouldn't have brought up Creed. I'm sorry, Wander. No, my... It's my, my fault. It's <laughs> my... My rapier is stuck in an ant's head. I threw it by accident. Because I... <laughs> Picked up a grass blade and was trying to get rid of it, and I dropped it and immediately chucked my rapier. I love that sentence so much. Uh, my rapier's stuck in an ant's head. I threw it at him. Like the, the shock. <laughs> I was not intending on any of the things that happened there. He's unlocked the ability to repost you. It's my my sword now. Might loaf. On the go. Ooh. Yeah, it's really unfortunate opening up the cookery. I can't wait till we have so many more recipes. We should be able to get the hedge recipes. We should have yeah. the science for it. Oh uh, no, we need three thousand. Need three thousand. I just need clay. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Stop. You okay? Being attacked by mites. You deserve it. I do. There we go then.
Oh, I need I I need the rock smasher trait so bad. Having to hit the uh clay oh, I just got it! <laughs> Having to hit the clay four times is mighty depressing. Alright. Um, let's go back and gather more glass now. That hurt. Oh, really? No bombardier beetle bad. Why are you here? Ugh. I'm gonna get them to fight each other. Really had to go and give us Birdbath Bluff for that quest right away. That was kind of rude of him. Such an annoying one to do. I'm assuming it's just really far away. No, it's just it, it, remember when we were in the uh, hedge at the end of it, and there was that zip line that went nowhere, but you could build your own zip line to attach to it. Ah. Uh, so you have to build oh, a zip line. Watch out, buddy. They up are and destroying up. our pallets. No, I'm coming. So yeah, you got to build up there into. There we go. I managed to get the two of them to engage. Into the bird bath, and there's a mega milk molar up there, and there's like it's a good zip line anchor point, but my word is it annoying to have to initially build it. Let's go. Hello, ladybug. Good lord, that charge attack she does. <laughs> See this blueprint of a sap uh, of a, a water collector over by this juice carton that's partially built. The second lady bugging coming. I haven't been able to work out. Modi, does that stuff hurt you as well? Nope. Okay, cool. Uh oh. Second lady bug is engaging. As long as they're not flanking. Wait, I still need one weed stem? Where's my other weed stem? <laughs> escape. Oh, did you go in the cave? Yeah. Yeah. I saw the head and I'm like, there's got to be something with this guy. Mm -hmm. I was not wrong. I thought there was usually a wolf spider down there. Uh, not at the moment. Bless. Oh, I've Mr. been Ant. weirdly lucky with this venture. Oh, nice attack. Nice. Very nice kill. Very well done, Noddy. Thank you. Can I get more berries while we're out here? Are we pretty much good on berry leather? It's pretty good Always going to end up... Always, I, yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, if you're out that way anyway, it's probably worth collecting. Uh, like, did I you mean, build if... a berry uh, chair yet? No, I have All not, the more reason so... to. That's That yeah. might get us to Comfy 3, honestly. That would be, that'd be amazing. Right, That'll let us carry time. so many things. Let us carry 15 twigs. Wow. How can we even be expected to live at such speed? Also, until Madi gets his, uh... Unless he sticks with Ladybug, if he if he decides to stay with Ladybug, uh... Berry leather is what repairs Ladybug armor as well. Gotcha. Ah. Alright, so I have an oak tree anchor oh. built. Do we have a twig palette that can accept some stems at the base? Because I will bring a bunch back that I'm leaving on the ground yes, otherwise. Yes, do. Okay. I will bring. I always use building, building materials. Yep. It's one of these things you never... Even if you don't end up using it, if you don't collect it, you're going to find yourself needing it later. And you won't be anywhere near where you can collect them. And you're going to be cursing yourself. Oh, 
no. Oh, that's, not a wolf. that's a wolf spider. Come on, mom. You can't and defeat me. Me and Marty just, you know, chilling out, building stuff at the base. I am on way back. Wolf spider has been. Never mind. I'm not panicking. He's panicking. What are you up to at the moment, Wanda? Uh, grabbing berry, berry leather and crow feathers. Ah, cool. Yeah, what was it? What was the other thing that we needed crow feather for, feathers for, other than uh, arrows? Bed. Bed, 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 bed. And if anybody wants to make a crow crossbow, which is the slower, more deadly version of the tier two I ranged weapon, definitely wouldn't say no to that, given that Wander is going for the pollen shot, isn't he? With the he's got uh, the yeah, he's got the insect bow. Yeah. And if yeah, if he's using yeah, I'll the insect the crossbow bow. then. Crow feathers are used for a bunch of stuff. They're very good. We need more That'd clay as well. Always need clay. All right. It's another one of those resources, is it? Clay is uh, clay is not only good for making uh, might on the or fuzz on the rocks, the slushy, but it's also really good for anchors for zip lines. Every zip line needs four clay. So. Gotcha. Not that clay's difficult to find. It's, no, it's it, it, pretty easy to find actually. If you have, if you have spa. Slots in your inventory, you might as well grab 20. Takes up little space. Yeah. Little, little space. Oh no. What's wrong? Uh, did that he just say hey, Fid? Yes. Yeah. Oh no. He says it so often. Oh no. He, he did it. He <laughs> did that. Character. He did that. He actually. Oh. I appreciate it though. I don't know why you just got to appreciate different. when it isn't constantly happening. <laughs> uh, take that out of there. Take that out of there. I do want to organize. At okay. least I'm pretty happy with getting the tower on the go. I think this hole of brass blades may be enough. see it's not very visually striking on the outside I'll add some uh, other details as we go crenellations and such but for the time being just getting a functional blueprint that I can use all these chests okay this chest this chest is now quality ingredients This chest, you are quality. I've been I'm so mad. Oh. How's it deposit? There we go. Now then, what would be grand is if there was a floor that was just a little bit smaller than this, but. That is for quality ingredients. Better bread. Better subs. Papa John's. What? It's an American pizza place. And it's oh, not yeah, their saying. Have, um, <laughs> it's Papa John's over here, I think, but. It just came out of nowhere. I was like, what? It is very infectious advertising, but you don't have to uh... say it right. Oh, we need bug rubber. How do we get that? Uh, sap and web, I think. So it's a craft in your inventory one. Okay. Oh, yeah. And the bows are so loud. It's amazing. Every time I hear a bow. All right. That, 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 that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Liquid gills. Incredible. 
incredible. So you could actually make the swimming smoothie? Uh, we could make the... We could Now we can make both of them. We can make fluid flippers and liquid gills. Fluid flippers makes you swim faster. Liquid gills makes you... Your breath meter much big. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I think I grabbed quite as much berry bits as I wanted to. But it seems like a lot of them haven't respawned yet. And then... La Bubble. Bubble home, bubble home. I can make... Ooh. We got three. I just need to get one more. He's losing his mind. Now, do you need scales for the bubble helm? And that's the issue why it's so rare? No, bones. Ah. Uh. Sunken bones. Thankfully, you can get more of them than scales. Because they're where they where the nodes are for them are so clumped together. <laughs> oh, that's you up there. <laughs> Just, well, I, I heard a, a bang and then three pebbles fell down on my face. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate uh, it. I deconstructed something and uh, all of the bits fell down. <laughs> Right. I think I'm gonna need to get a different wall. So are you making the uh, initial zipline tower evac, or are you yeah. just making castle? Uh, initial zip zipline tower. I set up a, a launch point at the oak tree, so that one's taken care of. Where's the launch point? Ah. Uh, you will oh, I can see it. Yeah. It's uh it's like the, the uh yeah, yeah yeah I can see it. Yeah. The branch just to the here. west. The west of the old uh Yeah, you can get a good oh, yeah. sight of it from here. So that'll be good there. We should be able to get to Weed Killer Peak. Hello crow. Weed killer peak. Hello burb. That's amazing. Oh, the bird. Oh, on the weed, on the uh, weed killer. He's just oh, yeah. chilling. Which means he is. I mean, unfortunately, he's going to be dropping a feather right in the haze. But because I believe he drops a feather when he launches, or has a chance to? Question mark. I don't really know. Well, how do you is, activate is... these firefly hanging lanterns, or do they just activate themselves? Just, uh, you should just be able to push the E button on him. Maybe I need to build up to it in order to do that. Not quite. Oh, no, the Firefly Hanging Lanterns. They only, they turn on at night. Ah, cool. Automatically, that's, that's right. I was hoping for. Yeah, they turn on automatically at night. So let me, let me scout this. We got Anchor there. We'll have one to the upper yard over there where the ticks are. Upper yard over there by the wheelbarrow. Upper yard over there with a bike. This is actually. Oh, and it we can oh we can ignore the gnome. This is a pretty good launch point right up to the picnic table sandbox. Yeah, this this tower is going to be great. Oh, perfect. I'm this tower is going to be great. Is the gnome usually like a a major impediment? If you build on the baseball, you need to have a little bit more height. Ah, uh, because you end up just you end up. He's he's a very thick landmark, but because we're just a little bit north more, we have him at an angle where we can sneak in past him with a zip line and get right to the grill. Are there praying mantises in this game? There, there is a single praying mantis, and it's a boss. Okay, cool. And it is I say, that's hopefully a very specific question. 
and it has hopefully been fixed because lord of mercy that it killed your game oh okay. very pretty arena but it was a graphics card melter <laughs> oh okay Man praying mantises i'm afraid sense. of two types of bugs praying mantises and spiders this is a great game for you yeah <laughs> i was gonna say why are you playing this game, Wanda? <laughs> uh, everybody said it's, it was good. It is very good. I mean, it is really fun, but it's like, wow. I will 100% just deal with my fears if it means cool game. It also has, in in my opinion, one of the most... One of the best uh, accessibility, like, arachnophobia modes, personally. Yeah, I don't know. I was just as freaked out yeah. by the just floating orbs. Well, yeah, because they just turn into little, you know, cue balls with eyes. Yeah. Like, watching that just lunge at you is terrifying but for a completely different reason. Compared to the full model of the spider, which they do a really good job of spiders in this game. Yeah. We've only seen... Well, Avak and I have seen three of them. I don't know if you guys have gone pond yet, but no, there's many, many more, many more spites. Not many, but there's a few more. Yeah, oh, I like the garden like patches. Oh, Brinko die. I'm liking the garden patches. Humiliating we could... if I died with like two water in my infantry. I think we uh... should be at sleep till morning time. Okay. Uh, we are close. asleep till morning, yeah. Here, Wake up give at me 6 a.m. Second, let me see if I can do a thing. Oh, nice. There we go. We can move it in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we should sleep in that bed then. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, so that... I think Madi is catatonic. Yeah. Uh. Player list, Madi, kick player. <laughs> I, I actually I don't, don't see why not. Yeah, I mean, he's. I think he. I mean, may I be don't know if some... he's recording or anything like that. I don't know what that might do to his recording software. I don't know how he records. My biggest fear is if I kick him and he can't come back. Hmm. Oh, you should be able to. Re oh, you're right. That's right. It might like ban him, which would be a pain. Marty. Yeah. Marty. Don't go towards the light. I wonder if he's having like computer issues. Or, I mean, he did kind of just move. So. Mm, internet that could be fun, doing yeah. some weird. Internet could be doing a weird, or it could just be a matter of like, he is not in a con convenient position. Mm hmm. Uh, to take a break, or, you know, somebody needed to talk to him about something. Sorry, we, don't, we don't need to necessarily no, sleep. No, exactly. I'm fine with just going out and getting more grass. Oh, what is all... Why are all of these blades of grass not on a pallet? How crazy. Oh, no. Like, they're all very neatly stacked, just not on the pallet. Like, but they're stacked on the pallet. Like, the, the, the like physical collision, they are literally on the pallet. That's going to be so level weird. three, I think. Uh, whoop, whoop. Oh, oh, comfy! It it does look it really does. comfy. Is that level? That does look though? super comfy, actually. No, it does give there. you a bonus. Okay. Uh, yeah, we gotta be getting. We need a little bit more for coziness. I mean, honestly, we just build a. We could build an acorn shelf over here. My Arlene too. We can customize that with some 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 nonsense on it. You can go ahead. Also, the uh, grass plank side tables or the grass side tables are also containers. They're not just decoration, so they're just they're oh, just okay. chests that look cool. Oh, 
Now, do duplicates of items uh, increase coziness or mm. no? 10% of the cozy value for every duplicate. So if the, if the bears assume the berry chair gives 100, if you build a second one, it only gives you 10. But we're like, we're we're actually on the the verge. Oh my lord, breaking things down in this tower is just an exercise in futility. Once the stuff drops on the bounce web, unfortunately, I'm going to be making some duplicates because our aphid statue needed horns. That's fine. There it is. Hey. <laughs> hot tub. Hey, uh, hot hot tub gum partition. Yeah. Ew. Pro hot awning. tub. Hot tub is so far away. I don't know why they give it to you at cozy three. It is so far away. Hot tub requires pine cone piece. Oh. Yeah. It is. It is a while. And coal, by the way. It's both yeah. of those which are upper yard. <laughs> both of those are past the first four labs, so. I mean, theoretically. We could get coal right now. It's not actually that hard, but. Pinecone is another story. Pinecone is actually like. It's not just like a sequence where like, oh, we can go smack. It's big, it's very dangerous. And I, pine cones need tier three hammer. Which to get a tier three hammer, you gotta kill some stuff that's uh, quite spooky. At least for where we're at right now. Oh god, the koi chair. Super cozy, but yeah, cozy three, level two hauling trait. Now we can carry fifth by default with that equip. We can carry fifteen planks. Big, 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 big. big. Alright, please stop fighting Close. me. Please fight each other. What? He's poisoned. Muddy! Oh, Muddy, you're back! I got like a crazy random dizzy spell and had to like literally lie down for a second. I don't oh, know what you? caused that. You okay? Yeah. I hope so. It's not even like hot, so it's not a heat stroke thing. I don't. Uh, Have you been drinking weird. enough, though? I would like to say yes, but it's always hard to say. Drink um, more. Yeah. If, if 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 your answer isn't confidently yes, well, then the it's thing no. is, it usually is, but I already drink way more water than most people. Yeah, but yeah, most people are chronically dehydrated, so drinking more than them also doesn't true. necessarily mean that you're it's not no. dehydrated. I've Extremely gone true. <laughs> what are what are these? Does it say on it? This is a forty ounce. I I've gone through one, well, uh, a little bit more than one oh forty no. ounce bottle of water this morning. Wonder, can you translate American for me? That would be forty ounces. That would be. I'm so confused. Three and a half liters. Yeah, yeah three and a half No, the there's no way, right? I I literally have no idea. I'm terribly sorry. Forty ounce. Oh no, no, that would be that would be two liters. It's like it's like one point eight liters. Forty ounces is like one point two liters. Oh, one wow. point. Okay, so yeah, oh, no, there it is. Excuse me, sir. Two liters is is not not terrible, but I mean, it's if you only mean... three o'clock for me too, oh. and I got up at ten. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. It's, it's not even like it's the whole day for you. Yeah, yeah no, that sounds that sounds okay. Yeah. Um, was I, it I water? Don't, I don't know. Yeah, ah. it was water. Although I did <laughs> also have coffee this morning, which kind of is a, a negative. Yeah, it kind of it's a, it is it isn't that it drives you out. It just it makes you go to the toilet a lot, doesn't it? Is it diuretic? Fight each other, yeah, not diuretic. Me. Thank you. I was really trying to reach for the word, but I wasn't confident at all about it. How you doing, no, Wander? You Do we have a safe way down from up here, or is it just use a dandelion? I, I'm. Uh, you can go back down through the holes. I'm trying to engage in kaiju battles. Mm -hmm. 
I think I succeeded. Three stink oh. bugs versus a mosquito and also versus evil spider. Sounds like a fun time. Yeah. So, so now... With, with permission, I would build this and then this. And then I would put this like here. Use your words, Penta. I don't know how that how that uh, how you feel about that. I don't know. It was just like I I will build a this and a that. Well, I'm I'm and trying to connect the zip line. I'm well. You right now you just kind of have like a two by two tower, but I don't. Yeah. I'm trying to establish where to oh, put right. You're the building an overhead. zip line. Yeah, yeah, no, build, build yeah. Right. I, was, I was more commenting. Honestly, it's more something I I I'm trying to train myself into doing. Uh, I was just being funny and failing, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm so bad at, at when I'm like uh, let's playing, and I'm like, right, I'll put this here and and that over there, mm. yep. and then you know, considering how how uh, many people watch my content, who are either just kind of like passively watching it, or are um, vision impaired, it's like no, I need to use words to describe what I'm doing. I don't believe in words. I believe in science. All oh, these chests, these chests make me, they, they activate something inside of me. Some deep-seated fear. The sheer quantity <laughs> of your equipment. The, the chaos that is within them. At some point we'll get the bigger chests and then we can chaos. hopefully consolidate. The large chests are a long ways away. I said at some point. Yeah. I just, we got clay, rotten food, and apple bites, and then there's also just three larva heads in there. Yeah, that sounds organized to me. Okay, <laughs> don't question the method. Also, Wanda, um, I was thinking what might look nice in that tower is we can put all of the um, trophies going up in the tower. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be good. Just along the, the walls. That's why I'm trying to make nice surfaces for them to go on. Oh, we need so much we haven't web. had trophies since uh, the old base. Kind of miss them. I mean, do we, we want to piss so off some more buggers? Web. Yeah. Uh, what's the time in game at the moment? Um. Oh. 1.30 a.m. And I need a little bit of clay, a little bit of Monica. Heading back to base to try and sleep. Ah. Is everyone available? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm home now. Wow. What fantastic time, what? I wonder. What? All right, whatever. This ain't home, but it's fine. I like that dry gas partition. Oh, Boom. That's fantastic. I love it. We have now connected to the oak base or the oak tree. Oh. Have we lost to where Burgle again? and the sap are? No, I just I hit the bed to try to sleep, so I have to stand nearby. Okay. Yeah. Panther, come sleep. There we go. By the way, the, the, in like real life, someone telling me to sleep. Is like my trap card. <laughs> it makes me unreasonably angry. <laughs> like, mm. If you want to sleep, that's fine. <laughs> no one but my body gets to tell me when I should sleep, and even then, I don't listen to it half the time. When it's people that I don't know, and they're like, "It's really late," and I'm like, "Don't assume my schedule, please." Yeah. Just yep. this world just ran on a 24-hour clock. Not everybody wakes up at 6 a.m. And puts on a suit. I remember when I was on the West Coast, I'd have some people show up at like, you know, nine o'clock my time, and it's like, "Wonder, it's midnight. Why are you still streaming?" And I'm like, "Um, <laughs> because, because I can. What you gonna do about it?" 
I think drop the mic. Um. All right. Wonder, are you still crow feather hunting? Uh, I'd have to start over. Okay. I. Well, I mean, they're gonna get mad at me either way. Ooh. Uh. Abak Mahdi, you guys are using daggers, correct? Uh, yeah. One-handed stuff in general. I got the, um, the, what's it called, though? The Pinch Whacker. Yeah, the Pinch Whacker. Which I don't know what that classifies as, actually. I think it's just considered one-handed. Is it to whack pinches? I, I meant a uh, weapon class, because they're <laughs> each weapon class. <laughs> oh. It got me. Okay, it got me. Uh... Okay, I I have to bullet point something I have to mention after this. Uh, okay. Did you... I don't know what weapon class it has. Abak, did you get the assassin mutation yet? Uh, no, I've got the... I, I just picked up the ant annihilator. I know Wander has probably got quick shooter already. Uh, or, you know, I'm not sure if I do. You must have it. I it's, only like, it's only like 50... Uh, 50 critters. Sets. 50 aggressive hero one. Nice. Yeah, you have level 2 hauling hero. Dude, that's the one yeah. that lets you carry 15 things. Yeah. Wow. From Yeah, that's in one of that's in my building preset. You you got a hand annihilate uh, myth, uh, myth or quick rag, shot. Uh, myth Mithridatism. That's a poison. Nope. Uh, no quick shot. Really? Really. It's like in the, it should be. I have sharpshooter, but that's not quick shot. That's, that's, that's the one. Oh. I'm, that's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the bow, the bow one. Yeah. Yeah. So you have that pinch whacker. I don't know if pinch whacker counts as a club or if it counts as a sword. Maybe it doesn't count as anything and you just don't get a mutation for it. I don't know. Let's see. Because every the first fifty creatures you kill with every weapon gives you the mutation for that weapon class. So when Avok kills his fiftieth ah. aggressive creature, you can't cheese it by killing weevils and aphids. Uh, you could in early access they removed it because it, you could just get max level right away. Yeah. Uh, you'll sense. get the assassin, which gives you benefits for using daggers. There's one for swords. There's one for spears. So if Madi was still using the stinger spear, he would get the javelinier mutation. So it looks like it's an uncategorized tool. So uh, it won't have a mutation associated. That's fine. It's still really strong. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to the red anthill, which is directly to our quest. I'm going to go steal some eggs. Maybe yeah, sharp, sharpshooter. I knew it was one of them. Quick shot is a set bonus or something you get from something. Ah, I was really hoping nice. there was, in fact, like a, a quick shoot that I could get as well. So yeah, that would be amazing. Is the pinch whacker good enough that I would potentially start actually using upgrades on it when it's time to repair it rather than just repair? Or is there stuff that we will find to replace it? Ah, uh, that's it's a feel thing. All all tier three weapons in this are good enough to use. It just depends on your your preference. Gotcha. But tier three is like the highest. Tier three is the highest, yeah. Gotcha. The the getting the pinch whacker early like this is mostly suited to just be in the multiplayer setting where things have a lot more health and it would just help us out. And it's got that AoE to it. But honestly, depending it and it's you wanted to do the one-handed stuff so you get the pinch whacker once you get black ant shield pretty good but uh it's either that or like the the other spears are also one-handed and not bad mm-hmm yeah spears and there's so many good weapons in this game uh. the spears the spears are pretty good as well daggers are really good <laughs> like I like you get the you can eventually build that tick sword you know there's there's a lot of we got a plan, a of, by the way. 
I this... went to oh, grab... Oh, it's two... Okay, you put the mount on the mount. I was so confused <laughs> as to why there was a tiny spider head on top of the bee head. <laughs> All right. Uh, I was having fun. Evolution. Life current... uh, finds the way. My current <laughs> plan... That would be amazing. Right now... Hey, Wong, do you wanna... remember that game we collabed um, way back when? Uh, what was it? Uh, Kaplus. Yes. Every time we talk about mutations in this game, for some reason, I remember I think of that, Kaplus. yeah. And I actually get a bit disappointed because those mutations were uh, very handy. Yeah. You can make a very, very interesting build with those mutations. Oh my god, it's so slow because we don't have the angle. I might have to relocate that zip line actually. Look at me go! I'm coming up to have a look. Boing. Look at me go! Wow. Wow. He's, he's <laughs> a, what, a, what a speedy, what a speedy. Anyone that wants to come by me, that would be so wonderful. Sorry. Why did you turn into in a, a ghost? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was possibly the best thing I've done in this game so far, though. Wow. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. Was that a pebble? I did, yeah. I just, just hit you with a pebble. <laughs> did you just beat him in the head? No, he threw, threw a pebble at me while I was on the zipline, and I fell to death. <laughs> It was, it was so very. It was a. It was a good throw. I can't be mad. Yeah, that so Dan Marino good. arm. Um, I'm so is... sorry if that clipped, but I. I just could not hold that in. That. That little. You, you I'm actually is in the corner of my eyes from that. You actually did save me. That's. That's. Hey, that's... Hey, body. Do you want me to put yeah. you out of your misery? No, it's... I'm gonna. I'll get there. <laughs> I'm going it's all the way so to the lamp. So uh, oh, I actually wow. have an idea. I have an idea. Madi, don't worry. I have an idea, and it won't involve me throwing anything I actually need at you. to wipe my eyes. The genuine tears in my eyes from how hard I laughed. At on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just watching Madi go in the temptation to get him a pebble. It's massive. Yeah. Oh, now I fell. Hold on. I don't think you should hold back. You need to indulge. I'm gonna. Oh, wow. the, the, oh, you just took the whole thing away. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna move the one at the tree down a little bit. That was so good. And it, it, it was. That's like a minus three. Oh, wow. I. It looked so much more steep than it was actually. It's kind of I mean, crazy. Do we want to make this one taller by a floor? It is going to eventually need to be taller. If you wanna, if you wanna ascend that one a little bit while I move over here. Oh no, or Weaver. Do we need more grass? Yeah, we need more grass. I'll go get some more grass. Wander, do you have a grass mask, the grass chopper mutation yet? Uh, you know, I don't think so. Does that? Yeah. It's good. Oh my god! I don't... My stupid pigeon brain. I'm gonna be chased by three orb weavers, and I stop to drink a dew drop. Like, oh, yeah, I got time. <laughs> I oh, no. approve okay, this. A, ooh, a shiny. So let me look. Oh, baby. The crow. He's right on the the science tower. I want to watch. Crow, are you going to drop where you going to drop a feather right next to our base? That would be great. You just going to chill? Just going to hang out, have a good time? God, I wish I could be a crow. Crows are amazing. They are crow very, or very, raven? very. Uh, crows are more social, so probably a crow. Ravens are definitely a cooler bird, in my opinion. But uh, you know, honestly, crows are ravens. Social. Ravens are super social. Like, they're uh, social, yeah. but they're they're crows. I don't know. Crows are very shy. They're cute because they, they they don't trust you right away, and you go warm up to them. My buddy had a had a rescue crow. Mm. Ah. My cousin had a pet crow. 
was smarter than my buddy. Marty, how are you like, chopping hey. those up? Hmm? How are you chopping those up? Oh, you just uh, also hit the stems with the axe. Oh, that's what's going on. Watching Marty go by with a massive stack of grass on his shoulder. Oh, there's <laughs> another one here. Just yeah, scooting. I got the... I got the mutation to be able to carry even more, so I can hold 10. You should be able to carry 15 now. Well, no, I only have the mutation. I don't have the um, armor set or anything. Yeah, but we should have hauling hero number two. I only have hauling hero one. You weren't in the base when we got comfy three. Okay, so that's how that works. That's cool. That's Wait, actually, I, I like that. Where do I have to stand in the base to hit Comfy comfy 3? I only see Comfy 2 everywhere. Uh, let's move around a little bit. I was standing next to the berry couch, or the berry, uh, berry chair. It's giving me, it's giving me 2 as well. Oh, there it goes. I, I had to be on this oh, side yeah. of the berry chair. Oh, I had to be on this side. Weird. Yeah, it's like a bubble. It's the same as like uh, the stuff that we build in our tower doesn't quite access our chests anymore because it's too high up. So, mm. you know, if you want to build new anchor points, you got to bring the clay and stuff up with you. Ah, uh, nope. Hello, Rust. I cannot, cannot do yet. No tier three hammer. So you're alluding to the building system in Rust there for a second. No, the Rust resource. Yeah, I've not played Rust. But I hear the building system is really good. Cool. It's very decent, good. even at early reason. access. I mean, it is made by the Gmod guys, so... Oh, that's gonna annoy me. Under... Yeah. Your, your, your... The aphid statue, his... The, his horns are coming out of his pupils. Yeah. It is demonic. I was thinking about, um... Uh... I would shoot cordyceps when I was putting it down. I was like, eh. uh, you know what? He does look like he's being taken over. Yeah. <laughs> he has that face of like submission. I was like, ah, oh well. <laughs> Slurms Mackenzie. What are we going to do about it? Wiggity wham wham wazzle. I love the uh, mastiff eyes the infected ones have. Oh my lord, lady bug is a big one. So I'm uh, building the uh, <laughs> um, mounts. Uh, sorry, not mounts. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're called mounts, aren't they? Uh, I'm building these right now in the tower. What was I just... Oh, I was going to... Slushy machine. That's what I was going to do. Oh, we, uh -oh. we need grub sludge. I'll have to kill some grubs when I'm over at the tree next time. We are down to four grub sludge. How do we get more? I assume just hitting just, grubs. Just, just, yeah, just killing grubs. Each grub is like two to. I think it's like two to six sludge you get for each grub. Oh, that's convenient. It's pretty, pretty farmable, and there's they spawn constantly, and there's usually there's a bunch of them that are around that branch, the like sap branch in the middle of the yard, and then there's also usually tons of them at the oak tree, around the whole oak tree. Sorry, I'd move the uh, bounce pads oh, so that I could place down the... Zoom in! Uh, There's Ooh. Grass Master. Yeah, it's, we're getting the mutations that are going to be quality of life. I've got the rocks, the rock cracker one already. Yeah. Which is really good. Tier 1, at least. <gasps> Speaking of Grub. Hello, Grub. Oh boy, I can hold up to 24 of these dudes. <laughs> the planks? <laughs> yeah. I don't even need, uh... I don't even need the plank pallet anymore. I just need to put on the ant armor and go walking. Um, walking here. Well, th one thing I will say about the positioning in this game is I dislike the fact that it models each individual grass plank 
in a wall. So if you get it just right, what you're trying to place flush with the wall will suddenly veer off at a weird angle because it's now trying to align to the like the seam of the grass plank. Mm, I know what you mean, yeah. That seems like an unnecessary detail to me. There's a there's a couple of little like weird building things in this that I I'm not a big fan of I uh certain buildings only build like neatly if you snap to grid otherwise yeah. if they if you catch it at the wrong angle it like is all of a sudden on its side and you're like why are you why am I building this bounce pad on its side <laughs> so it forces you to build at an angle or build with snap to grid there's 14 grub sludge easy have grub you sludge. repositioned the yes you can zip to the the base of the oak tree pretty easily now. This is moderately terrifying. <laughs> well, the zip Pete's... line? <laughs> yeah, that's what Pete says. This is moderately terrifying. Fish, 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 fish. Why, Koi? Why must you be so aggressive? Ungi. As a, as a person who has koi, I I do agree. They do like eating, but I don't like them eating me. They're eating her. And then they're gonna eat me. Uh, hey, Madi, are you home? Yes. Yeah. How much is this? You were gonna say how much home are you? That, that's, <laughs> that's that's a sizable amount of grass. Are you home? Yeah. How much home? I mean, it's that's, kind of valid. Like that's yeah, something. I was, I was kind that's, of thinking that that's, that seems like a valid question. Because like if something it, if I'd a say was on top of the zipline tower. What about your other grass pallet? Uh, it's wander. Oh, it's over here. Yeah. Wanders the other grass pallet. <laughs> and now I am. Uh, dandelion stems. So, unfortunate news. The uh, sunken bones did not respawn yet, so oof. we are still stuck at three bubble helms right now. Okay. So another day of waiting then? Sucks. I did build bombs. We could do haze lab. It's just tough. I'm down for that. We've done reasonably well with tough. Yeah. I'm just building another sap collector right next to the uh, connection point of the zipline. I suppose if we're doing Haze Lab, I don't know if I want to go. It is e. very nearly sleep time, sleep time, so there is a good chance by the time we wake up, I'll swim down really quick. We only need like three bones, and then we can go right into the pond lab. And I don't, I believe there it's a 24 hour spawn, but because our sleep schedule's been messed up, I'm not tracking time very easily. Yeah. I'm just gonna quickly grab some Let me more check. Sap two awake. Uh, We've got two hours. Uh, in game. Right, that gives me time to murder three more water fleas. Finally get this dang quest done. Okay, I'm on my way over to you. We're 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 behind on our science gain because we've been stuck on kill water fleas forever. Uh, so what are they gonna unlock for us? No, it's just it's just one of the daily quests you get, but because oh. we haven't done them. We haven't been going, cycling oh. through quests and getting science for them. But, we could also, people want to do, I mean, somebody has a gas mask. Oh, it's only two hours to sleep, never mind. Let's say we could do the uh, weed killer peak trail marker as well. There's a thousand science, that one's done. That means we'll be able to get a new quest starting tomorrow. Nice.
God, I love the comfy bonuses from that bed. That bed is a huge upgrade. Hunger and thirst buffs for the entire day, as long as you sleep in that bed. Pretty good. Now we just need to make a bedroom. Okay. I'm back at base and ready to sleep. Is this a snail? There's a snail shell. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm disappointed. I wanted them so badly to do something with it, but it never never did, unfortunately. I was like, I'd be I super wanted... down for just having a snail buddy that just goes around totally impervious to damage. It just goes bawling if you hit it. <laughs> Doesn't even need to move. Bong. Where the heck? I know I had a lean to somewhere. But if I sleep in the lean to, I will not get bonuses. So I'm just going to come home. Yeah, there's no reason not to, really. I'm going to be a little slow to home anyway. I need to grab some acorns. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we've got another 30-ish minutes in game before we can sleep. Oh, good. Can you think of anything else we want to add in here, Muddy? Grab my um, hat. I haven't actually taken a look through all of the different cosmetic building materials. Or building constructs. I don't know. Oh man, we can eventually make crow pieces. Yeah, crow feather roofs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We can go full medieval later on, like and have uh, stone walls and such. Yeah, you can have mushroom mushroom buildings. You can have concrete like ash. Crow roofs. Ooh, we can get like an roofs. actual fireplace. You can build a fireplace right now and a chimney. Yeah. Did we not? We no, don't. No, we don't, we don't have, have a. We don't have a chimney. Uh, yeah, we don't have no. a chimney or fireplace. Earth, earth yet. Uh, I am home. Welcome. Welcome. Hmm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Grub, 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 grub. This, the koi scale chair looks so much less comfy than the berry chair. How it big is so the much bed more cozy. in terms of um, space that it takes up? Uh, two by one? Two or by one, two by three, maybe? Is it like a half block? Mm, let me come out of a look. Well, it looks like it would actually sit in a single tile if placed correctly. That may allow for. A oh yeah, yeah, that's what I, that's uh, what I meant. I suppose that yeah, I was. I was counting like. We we okay. Let's establish that that a, like grass plank floor, like a full floor, is a one. Is that a mm. one by one? Okay, okay. <laughs> Well, that's a two a by two. In, in my brain, that's a two by two. You, you can make a hot right. tub. Yeah, you were you were on you were napping when we uh, unlocked the comfy three. I think we unlocked that. Hot tub is a ways away, but it's also gives that's new. So I'm assuming it gives a bunch of benefits, but I it's don't know. It's a full coziness bar. It's a full coziness bar, but upon being Using in it, I'm it, sure. it probably yeah. It probably gives you the same effect that the uh, charcoal hot springs give you on the map. It's like a slow health regen that lasts oh. for a couple minutes. That'd be nice. It's really nice when you're up farming and mining charcoal. Because if you don't have, even with max sizzle protect protection, you just like boil alive. Oof. But it's so cool. I love the charcoal spill. It's one of the like most unique areas in the game for being like a mini biome. This, oh my, I, I, 
I'm not a builder in this game, but I do love the aesthetic of the stem, stem I know, like right? floors so much. Gorgeous. Right. I am back if we do want to sleep. I am sleeping. Oh, yeah. I am, I am coming root. down now. Dunk, dunk. And... Oh, I'm going to send me respawn points as well. I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Oh, oh, that's why I respawned at the lab. Ah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Teamwork makes the Okay, dream give me work. a second then, because I'm going to move it. Yeah. Before it, you all set your respawn. The, the, enti it. the entity itself should be the respawn point, even if you move it. Oh, okay. That's hey. Oh, we can make bug rubber in large quantities. Yeah, yeah. It's, it should just be sap and Sick. string, right? I wish there was a way to Is make it just like sap? a half wall plank. Acid glands and sap, that's right. I wanted to make a little, little kind of uh, nook for the bed. Actually, let's put a little bit honest of nook. There we are. Make a couple of them's. A little bit of organized chaos. Make a couple of them's. Need many wheat stems. Oh. Eat my. Grub roast. Drink my water flea meat. Yeah, it's very nice that we've not had to worry really about attacks from anything from from uh, being set up up here. So uh, we uh, haven't had a, an attack attack yet. Though. We did, but you guys were gone. Mm. It was like three ants. Oh, did that we? Got killed by the stink bugs. I laughed. Oh. <laughs> Did uh, answer me this. Did they try their best? Yes. Okay, thank you. That's all that matters. As long as they tried their best. Oh, that 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 infected ladybug trophy is dizzying to say the least. No, right. <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. I can't wait till some of the like later later bugs. I wonder what some of the stuffed ones and trophies are gonna be absolutely massive, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm thinking that that, that little setup up there, that is not going to work long term. Like the I think we're gonna need to find a proper trophy room for it, but yeah, once we're in like the upper yard and we get like some that. of the bugs up there, I I imagine they're sizable. Hello, Grub. I apologize for smacking you, but I need your sludge. I keep forgetting how this works. Like, once I've partially built something, I expect to be able to build off it, but that is not how this game does things. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Oh, I bet I'm not going to be able to carry this pallet whilst ziplining, but I'm going to try. That I don't know. That's something I have not tried. Because if I can... I mean, I'd still have to carry the pallet all the way back, but... Can I? I'm assuming you can't... Uh, uh. Alas, no. I was going to say, I'm guessing you can't relocate with a zipline. Oh. No, no, no. We're not flying. We're, right. we're very clearly attached to a rope, Pete. Last ditch effort here. It's not how flying Swim works. down. Please, bones. I beg of ye. Okay, next job, Wanda. We need to yes. build some sort of carriage for the zip line with oh. a, a little little uh, uh, protrusion so you can stand on it and rain death from above with your bow. You know, considering how, like, inventive these kids are, I'm really surprised they didn't make... Like, that isn't an option. I know, right? That would be ridiculously cool. Yes! You got everything you need? Uh, just, I swam down and the nodes have respawned. So we have more scales and more oh, bones down here. Hey. So Pond Lab is a go for today, assume, assuming y'all are interested in doing a Pond Lab. Yeah. You may assume this, yes. Ah, uh, indeed, quite dead. How you doing, Marty? I'm alive. 
Okay, I was, I was making sure. I was doing I'm doing a pulse check. If you're not feeling up <laughs> to pond lab, however, that is I can, absolutely I can, okay. I can probably pond. Okay. Oh, and then we're gonna be able to build a zip line. If oh, at well. any point though you don't feel yeah. up to it anymore, yeah. just just mention it and then it you good it's done. No problem at all. The safe word is nap time. <laughs> the safe word is a Brussels sprout. Do you now stop see, attacking me? Brussels sprouts are one of those things that I, love them. I am convinced the only reason they're like a hated food is that 90% of people I've ever met don't actually know how to cook them properly. Yeah, I think that's exactly the case. I think the reason why they're a hated food is that the first time you get introduced to them is at some sort of family dinner as a kid when yep. your palate is very different and really doesn't enjoy bitter things. Yes. And then give it like 10 extra years and your palate is going to change enormously. And suddenly bitter things are going to be like, hmm, yes, this is refined. I am a classy person. And you're going to enjoy it in a way that you didn't before. There's I also the suggestion of being a youth and just not liking foods that have a, a <laughs> different smell. Brussels okay. sprouts. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you, okay, it's an, it's a, it's it's a. I'm sorry though. I can't I can't listen to someone say the word youth without thinking. Hello, fellow youths. Because <laughs> it's it, it is it is it is one of those skateboard. It is one of those foods that. Yeah, that's got a I, distinctive I, smell. I don't dislike the smell of them, but I know there are people who are very, very against the smell of like Brussels sprouts, asparagus, uh, collard greens, stuff like that, that are just like, Ugh, I don't like the smell of it. My those are the same people those... that don't like garden smells. I love the smell of a garden. My mother was one of those people that would try and force Brussels sprouts and asparagus on us when I was young. And so, like, I don't hate the flavor now, but I hate the smell. Mm -hmm. Because I haven't gotten over, you know, that, like, immediate stomach-churning feel of, like, oh, no, yep. mom's cooking Brussels sprouts again. There's there's a word for it, and I'm trying to remember. It's not, like, it's it's like a a lessened what is it trauma. It's, it's forcing it's, their kids to, to eat Brussels sprouts. I'd... My mother did as well, but she, she went a, a complete psychological warfare route. I was like three, an extremely ling shotting a match. You, my, I was, I was very believing of whatever my parents told me. So when my mother said that they were, because like, they were like um, chicks up in the attic, you could hear the the birds. You know, they had nests up there. She said that the they would starve if I didn't eat my bl Brussels sprouts. I oh, dutifully God. gobbled those down, but that stuck with me for a long time. <laughs> If you don't eat your Brussels sprouts, the ecosystem's gonna die. Yeah, it was like, wow. But as a consequence, I completely got used to the taste. But uh, yeah, not not exactly the. I hmm. my mother was a good mother. I like to think. However, there were things that uh, way she went about things that. In retrospect, I wonder if necessarily we're the right way. Yeah. Such is the ongoing question of yeah. proper parenting, which mm -hmm. I don't think is a thing that even exists. I think there's there's improper parenting, but to say that there's a, a, a way to be yeah, a the, good parent is just a... I, I totally get where you're coming from, though, yeah. I, my current thing with my mother is she ruined my non-stick pan by sticking a metal spoon in it and grinding it mm. along the bottom. Oh. And I have to softly tell her to never, ever do that again. Please don't touch my pan. Uh, also, <laughs> you're getting a little also bit crackly knives. again, Wander. Again? All right. My knives. Yeah. Oh, my Look, I, I appreciate when, when we were younger, you know, you... money was... We weren't flush with cash, so you really only had like two knives, and you did everything with them. But I've I've properly furnished my kitchen, and I take pride in having knives for specific jobs. Am I better hmm. now or no? Still there, was, there was there was a pop. one big pop. 
Why is this roof corner not showing up? You've you activated something. People who don't take care of their knives is uh. People who pry cans open with knives. Oh, what are you no. doing? <laughs> what? I, like, unless what your you... knife is literally just a metal slab, and the. <laughs> uh... Or people who. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I have a kind of extensive culinary like background, so there's certain things that I I understand when people don't know like proper techniques or stuff, and it's fine because it's not something everybody knows. But yeah. people who just don't know how to like use a knife or different types of <laughs> knives for the right things, and I watch and I'm like, hmm. So you're just you're just gonna open you're gonna open that macaroni box with a fillet knife? Okay, okay, yeah, Ooh. yeah, you do it, you oh, do it. Right, right, okay. Well, sorry, you'll get in there. Trust yeah, me, you'll get in there. I was like, what, what do you mean they don't know how to use a knife? You use the sharp end to do sharp end you things would... with. I don't what. But no, there's what also mean, there's also just the idea of not using a knife properly, like of any yeah. knife, like people who just try and push a knife through a block of cheese or, you know, don't use like a sawing cutting motion when they're trying to cut like pieces of meat. Because if it's a good knife and you have good like wrist control, you shouldn't really, and if the meat was cooked properly, you should really just need to like push forward and out from yourself. And then it's done. But then people are like trying to like play to it and just push into it. And I'm like, you're you're not using the sharp part of the steel at that point. You're just you're using gravity. See, I I'm collecting I'm, anywhere to do anything, by the way. I'm on my way back to make the final bubble helm. Hey. Okay. I am my next step, which I don't know when I'm going to actually do that. Probably after I move. I, the apartment I'm moving to in late August has an amazing kitchen with, like, a, a center island. Mm -hmm. oh, I um, but I want to I wanna learn to properly sharpen with, a, like, a whetstone. I currently mm, yeah. just use one of those simple, like, back-and-forth X-shaped ones. And it does well, but I know it's more rough on the blade yeah. itself. Yeah, it's, it's degrading the blade a bit. I mean, yeah. the thing is, it works. If you use the right oils, I'm going it lasts to, for a long time, though. I'm going to say that there is a difference between doing something properly and doing something good enough. And I think some people do get really hung up on, you know, you're not doing this perfectly, therefore it is absolutely wrong. Mm. And I'm not, I'm not one hundred. You know, I, YouTube, I get YouTube comments. From. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, but like. You know, you don't need to take perfect care of, of the knife. If you have the time and the resources and the desire to, then yeah, getting a proper set of whetstones and varying different oh, yeah. uh, um, grits and, and properly taking I mean, time out every now and then to sharpen all of your, your knives. Because, like, you know, every person who uses one is going to have a different kind of preference. Mm -hmm. you kind of, yeah, that's the difference between you know, passion, and, the knife passion and use. Them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which is kind of I why I want to learn it. Some but... chefs are really into that. Mm. But for I, the everyday person, unless it's you're not necessary. But also, unless you're really, really smashing the edge of your knife, I don't think you need more than like one of the two grit, like flippable whetstones. Because yeah. the the like higher tiers are only if you have such crazy metal burrs. Because maybe if you're somebody that like does a lot of fish deboning or like hmm. carving maybe yeah. then you're chipping your knife enough but yeah i mean th like, this is this is another thing that, that i come back to is like have knives for certain jobs like when i'm butchering a carcass for the ferrets i have a specific knife and it is mm -hmm. honestly if someone looked at that it, it would be like frankenstein's monster of knives it is so messed up but it's heavy and it does the job i, <laughs> I have love don't all really sorts care of yeah, they they do not care, but you know it it it's a it's a good knife for that. You know, I don't use like I wouldn't necessarily take one of my nice knives to you know literally just rushing through the joint in in a rabbit leg. Whereas this oh. knife, yeah, that does the job perfectly well, and the ferrets want the bones and want to be able to get the marrow mm -hmm. and the ligaments and stuff. So I've been know, an I, idiot. What's wrong? I've been using. I've had my hauling hero preset of mutations this entire time 
Like, why is why are things hurting me so much? And why am I doing no damage? And why is my stamina non-existent? Why is your parry bad? Why is my pay exactly? Thank you, thank you. I okay. I love having my I have a large cleaver that I use when I do need to do any sort of butchering stuff. Yeah. Did it's you name it? So very nice. It's I have not so named any of my knives. <laughs> okay, now we're going into like, hmm, are you okay, Pentatarantry? <laughs> Like, well, I mean, answers. all of their all of their knives and, the, and their backstories. This is my front back. This is my rear left burner, Greta. <laughs> right. So, in terms of going to um, Water Lab, what do we need to bring? Give me an idea of what we're gonna encounter down there. Some form of attack ability underwater. So a knife of some sort. I don't believe we have enough bones to make bone knives for everybody, but I so will do we, check. Do we only have pebble knives then as an option? Spider Fang Dagger should work, shouldn't it? Spider Fang Dagger should work. Yep. Oh, daggers work as well. It should work. Okay, so probably my pinch whacker and my spear won't. I feel like a spear should. As long as you're only doing thrusting motions. Yeah, I believe spears do, yeah. Do spears, spears work underwater? Work. Okay. Spears should work. Unless they changed it, it should work. Cool. I should probably bring a dagger just in case. I don't know how much durability I'm going to end up using. I'm going to bring a spray dandelion tuft. I don't need it, but I'm going to bring it. I'm going to make a bunch of bandages, some food, some arrows. Uh, can we make some, um... So is the is oh. the lab itself underwater, or once we get into the lab, is it parts of it are oh. underwater? We'll be we'll be swimming through like tunnels and like chambers and stuff. And I'm assuming once we have the the bubble helmets, the, like these gill tubes you gave us, aren't really useful. Yeah, gill tubes are only just to get to the bubble helm. The bubble helm is like 150 seconds of underwater breathing. Oh, no. Gotcha. Wander, no. I he kicked the thimble. Maybe I'm fine. What's happened? Oh no, I'm fine. I I spawned at the most uh the closest lab. Thinking it would spawn me at Burgle. It mm. spawned me in the uh larva lab. Ooh. Oh no. Yeah, it was fine they were not present on the side I was on, but okay. it was spooky. <laughs> Uh, would it be worth us getting fluid flippers and liquid gills? Or oh, fluid flippers is the only one we'd be able to make, actually. The... We should have... We should still have... We should still have four sets of flippers. Or did we only, did we only ever have... Oh, fluid two. flippers, the, the um, drink. The drink, yeah. Okay, I'll craft one. Or should we go for two? Each, because I think we've got yeah, we've got enough water boatman fins for two each. Yeah, you know. Um, we, the person we can make because we can make two more fin flops, which makes you, which gives you the same benefit oh, as well, the drink, case, gives yeah, you swim speed way. and some light armor. But we can only make two of them, so one right. person will be without the fin flops. So the person without the fin flops should take my fluid flippers drink that I have. So I'll put that in the equipment chest. Ooh. We got the tier two fluffy dandelion tuft. That must have been Wander that found that. Uh, maybe? By the way, while you're here, Repair all of your gear. There's no reason for us to not do that while we're. If you're, if you're, if we, if you, well, tier two gear. If you, if we have extra of the stuff that uses to repair it. Otherwise, if you're above fifty percent, I wouldn't bother yet. In fact, if you're above fifty oh, percent, okay. I would just upgrade each piece with by one, and that'll I'll repair it anyway. Oh, okay. Um, I'll, I'll remember that. Thank you for the Shoot, info. we don't have any weevil meat, do we? That's what it takes to repair my weevil shield. If 
I see a weevil, I'll smack it on the way back. Oh, by the way, what was required to make that crossbow? Crow feathers and... Acorn shells. Oh, acorn. And then, and then rope. Yeah, we need coming one back more crow with acorn feather. shells. What's the odds that we can get a crow feather before then? Uh, we'll have to scan for one. There should be more. You probably won't be using a crossbow underwater. What? But it's basically basically a low tech um, spear gun. Spear gun. It's just really low tech. Also, spear guns outside of water are frightening. Mm. Actually, oh. frightening. Who I'm wants frightening even underwater if they're aimed at me? Okay, well, I dropped. The thing is, is, underwater they can they can. I drop these. Know, um, fire those. Oh, what are those? Flippers. Oh, flim fin flops. Oh, okay. But you know, un underwater they can they can move those uh, spears at, at a hell of a clip. And when you think that that thing is having to resist water, the force. When you take away that that impediment and put it in air as the transfer medium, yeah, those things are crazy. See, and then you get the like big harpoon this, guns on this. whaling ships. Clip. Right, are we going to be um, going into a lab and then re-equipping our stuff? Uh... At parts, yeah. I, I keep my armor with me. Just make sure you don't have it out, like using its uh using its energy while not yeah. underwater. And then what well, the fin flops and stuff. No, the uh lantern. The light. Right, right, right. Yeah. Where is Wander? Oh there he is. I'm looking for weevils. Hey, we have a mite loaf that's about to go bad. Does anybody need food? Not me. Uh, I'm about two thirds on food. So if you are worse, go for it. I dropped one. I I'm also at about oh. two thirds, but we've got two oh, of them right that are above about to go back. Ronda, but ah, crow feather. Yes. Eat the eat this, Marty. What is there a crow feather nearby? This is a grub roast. Just dropping. Oh no right no no! I don't need to eat it. We need to eat this because it's going bad. That's what now. I was saying. Yeah, but I thought you said you were partially hungry. In like three quarters. Yeah, eat the grub roast. But I've already, I, but I've got to eat not. this mite loaf before it goes bad. If we, we sleep the through the loaf. night, I'm pretty sure they go bad. Yep, we see. don't need to sleep through the night. We're going to be in the darkness of the ocean. How do you collect the crow feather? Hit it with Chop your it axe. with an axe. Oh. Ah. Chop it with the axe and pray that you get seven or nine pieces instead of just one. No, <laughs> oh, come on. Spiders, none of this. I mean, you do only need one, to be fair, but it would be great if we got more than that. Uh, do they drop into your inventory, or you have to pick? No, they drop them? on the ground. Yeah, that is deeply annoying. Because now I've got to fight some spiders. Coming, coming as well. There's three of them right there. Yeah, the feathers should have just dropped. There we go. There's one. I see a piece. Yep. Are there any more? So I so wait, cut it you... right above where you were. You have the bubble helmets for us too, right, Penta? Yeah. Gotcha. Are we are we killing the spiders or are we going home? There is a, I cut the feather down just above here. I can't see any more. Penta says kill. Yeah. Why? Well, it was aggroed on somebody. Only with the spider fan. Oh, the second one is active. The third one is active. Switching to my oh boy. Uh, gas hours. And we've got plenty of AOE for these. Come back here, spider. One's dead. This is chaos. Who's dead? Chaos. Thank you for the heals. Easy. Turn this down. Remember when they were scary? I love. Yeah, I know, right? I love gear Can upgrades. 
Crow feathers only drop one sometimes? Yes, yes. Oh, that's they so can drop anywhere from one to nine, I believe. <laughs> I'll just check up on the leaves just in case. They drop in like a one. clump. So if they if you saw one, you would have probably oh. seen the others. Right, uh, yeah, then they, one, they uh, like you you only picked up one? Yeah. Yeah, so you just that got sucks. the you got the low oh. roll of two. But you only needed one. Yeah. Is there one? I mean he's still up on top of the laser thing. There's a chance he drops another when he leaves, right? Yeah. Okay, well we can always try that out. Yeah, as soon as Wanda's got that back, I'll make the crossbow. We got everything else we wanted for it. And I'm assuming we just use regular arrows still. Yeah, until we have an excess of feathers. Which we will have at one see another one drop. I meant like arrows instead of bolts for a crossbow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same thing. Same ammo type. Marty, how is, how is your shield? It's like mm, one third durability. Because you don't use shields underwater anyway, so. Oh, I'll find it. And we should sleep when water gets back, unfortunately, for our hunger and stuff, just to get the. We've waited a, a while, so we need to get the hunger and thirst benefits from it. Yep. Heading up. We use the uh, bunk bed. Sure. Is that the bath bed? It's yeah. it's the it's the improved version. Okay. What is it? Yep. Sleeping on that one then. I should have crafted that might hat. You can do that in the morning. Or maybe not. Might hat. There we go. Nice. That's actually good because then by the time we get to another computer will have another replacement quest. There we go. Perfecto. Alright. E okay. So. Alright. Yeah. Gather around. Thank you, Machi. Wander. Bubble home. Bubble home. Bubble home. Thank you, Machi. Oh, it's not a real dude. Uh, uh. Oh, also, ah. this is one of the feather arrows I just dropped there for you, Wanda. That's a picture of one of the spiders. Just beside Where you. Where are you? Oh, behind. Where'd you put it? On the uh, ground. Just on the ground here. Oh, there it is. And then... I'll put a couple of arrows in a chest for you, because I picked up some of yours. Oh, cheers, man. Wander, you are the one that doesn't have the fin flops or the flippers, right? Yes. Oh, okay, nice. so here is a beverage. Swift sli and... fluid flippers. So it gives you swift swim. It's the same effect as our flops, but it's a time effect. But we should be good. Right, I've got a, an a, and a then, bladed spring bow. And then anyone would want to. No. Madi, did I give you a slime lantern? Yes. Do you have it on you? Yes. Okay, Wander, there's your slime lantern. I'm assuming it's got durability? Yep. Yes. How do I put it away? Uh, double click on it in your inventory. Ah. I'll just on switch to right my side. bow. Yeah, it'll it'll turn on as soon as you go in the water. Aw, oh, damn it. I no, got I, the, the crossbow out and I just right clicked, hoping that I would sight <laughs> down it. And it's like, nope, you're blocking with the crossbow. It's like, no, why? All right. Why I'll get it. Okay. You ready to go? Yeah. I'm going to make some nachos real quick. Oh, yeah. I'm not bringing any food with me. I almost didn't have to eat that much. You usually always find food in the in the labs. And we did sleep in a bed, so we have a hunger benefit, hunger and thirst benefit. Oh, that's true, actually, yeah. Also, yeah, very true. Also, algae is food. But nachos does give you a bonus. It gives you because it's a cookery food. Yep. No, you're not supposed to watch your food cook, but I'm just going to sit here. Wait. 
would also advise a couple of a couple of slushies. I did I did farm up some grub sludge. If you don't have any, Ooh. if you don't have any any slushies, I've got two just for machine, heals. Two fuzz on the rocks. Yeah, just for heals. Potions. Yeah. Otherwise, bandages are fine. Bandages are easy. I just mm -hmm. uh, they're too slow for me. Yeah, bandages are painfully slow. And we go. I don't, I don't know how the heal basso works underwater. Probably not. I would imagine. I'm ready to go when you guys are. Honor the stair. Yeah, he's cooking his yeah. food. Done. Coming. Let's go. Uh, should I should I make a couple heal boss? No, I'm not gonna. It feels waste. so wrong. Benton, this is so wrong. What? Oh, it's a flippers on. No, not right clicking to ADS. Yeah. It's it's actually uh, speaking of Hunt Showdown, which I recently started playing just to give it a try after years of avoiding it. Uh, I heard good things. It, it has two control settings, and the default one uh, has your gun down, and when you right click, it like pulls up to like shoulder aim, and then the secondary uh, control is you're always you have always have the cursor on your screen, but you right click to aim down your sight, and I'm like, but who's not aiming down their sights in a shooter game? The other control option doesn't have like an ADS. That's crazy oh, to me. Spider incoming for you, Panzer. Roger. Madi just has a science. You can spear underwater, right? Uh, yes, I yes. can. Okay. I can definitely uh, dagger underwater. I thought so. Nice. All right. Plenty of water, please. I'm gonna go grab this. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll go grab that science. Grab the smoke molar. Can I take out the tadpoles? Uh, you can if you want. Can we eat them as is? Or? No, water fleas you can, though. Right. Really water fleas you can eat uh, uncooked. I believe this is the one we can open yet. Can you catch bubbles to get air back? Yes. Yep. And well, you did bring one. the bomb that we needed, right, Penta? You don't need a bomb for this one. Oh, gotcha. You need a bomb for a haze lab. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. So come this down lab here for... fell on its side, did it? This is not the lab entrance. This was I was oh. just coming down here. If you guys want some oxygen. Uh, neat little tip. If you kill a diving bell spider or a water boatman, you get all of your O2 meter back. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. To analyze. Swim through there to grab some O2 if you want, Wander. Otherwise, I already re uh, collected some. Okay. Big swims. Okay. We entered the awkward side of the pond, but that's okay. That's where our base was, so. Raw, 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 raw swims. Water Bowman. I I'm so do. sad that. It, it's saying that the uh, kids are still saying things, but they're not like. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so good. Missed it it should there. be like yeah. distressed garbled. Uh... <laughs> so there's the secret area. Pond hatch over here. Oh, yep. Never mind. There's Mertine. So you want to equip that right away as a mutation. Okay. I'll take off Rascal Rogue to put Mertine on. Okay. Nice. It gives you nice. O2 bonuses and speed. You will, if you have flops on, you will notice how fast you are now. Mertine is good. So this pond hatch is actually the exit of the pond lab. It's locked, yeah. and we come out of there. This oh, one wow. is actually a, a secret from for way later. So we cannot get in there until we oh, beat the black ant. I Atlanta. like the 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 dome there. Kind of has a subnautica feel to it. Where do we like go? the observation area? Mm -hmm. What was that, Marty? We said where where do we go then? We yeah we got to go to the other side of the pond. Where Our base is on the opposite go? end of the entrance. Just uh. East. Yep, yeah. yep. Coming. Is there another good spot to get water air from? Oh my or... lord, that you can... 
swim up, you can kill a spider or you, these uh, plants that bleed O2. You can just swim into their bubbles like Sonic. Helping you out, Marty. Just don't kill it. Because yeah, he's going to need the eight. Go yeah, I need oh, to I, was, I was pulling off. Oh, it doesn't... Okay, so it doesn't completely fill it. Oh, maybe that's a... Is that a multiplayer? It added maybe? like... 70-ish seconds? Or sorry, no, it added like 80. That's still pretty good. The sound of that yeah. coin was wild. Oh, Penta, you've got some friends. Yep. I'm so disappointed my... Spider knife does not, uh, does not give poison. I thought you were gonna say, I'm disappointed my spider knife doesn't give like tribal bonuses against spiders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using your bits against you. Intimidation. You should get style points, yeah. if nothing else. It's got stab, it's a Pokemon game. Uh, roll with advantage. We are going into this big hole with the where the cables are. Oh, right, right, yeah, 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 I agree. Okay, big hole, uh, cables. Gonna grab that clay first. Down there. Yep. I am about to die. I'm healing. Go for the air bubble. Are you are you gonna die because of air I, problems, or? No, I just got my butt kicked by those last couple diving bell spiders. Yeah, I'm gonna try and, and I didn't get any. Off you. <laughs> there we go. The T-Rex toy down here scared the shit out of me. <laughs> That's where I got Madi's uh, stinger spear. I thought I it's... found the uh, I I thought I found the koi, and I was gonna be very upset that I made it this far. No, we swam past the, the big old big koi. Are right, we so heading here. for that lit stuff? Yep. All right. Catch yourself. But come turn on your lantern if you want as well. I absolutely love everything in this game. Like the the, the this is yeah. Anything. So wander zoomed ahead, but. This right here, uh -huh. we can open this, but we gotta Ooh. we gotta get the key for it. Uh, and I know where the key is. We nice. swam past the key, but that's okay. We can get it after the. See, yeah, there's a koi we'll scale right there. Yep. This is where you come to get koi scales and sunken bones. There's a sunken bone on the ground here. I'm actually gonna grab that. Those are good. Get this koi scale. So these these respawned in the time that we slept from. Me coming here the last time. All these bones and okay. I'm keep an eye on your O2 as well. Yeah, I'm down to 108 on O2. So, Wander, I'm assuming you went in and found the. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, Wander's inside right now, or where you can get your breath back. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm assuming you've already cleared this place out pretty fully. I only went into. I didn't pick up any of the. I didn't pick up any of the items. So let's see. Yeah, let's go in here. Because I'm, I'm about to die. Those I spiders hit pretty to hard. Go somewhere that does not have O2. This is. You know, come, keep coming. Oh no, it's off you. Yeah. So now oh, you activated okay. that. Pick up the cassette. So now Wander hit the switch here. So we have three breakers, the A, B, and C breaker outside that we have to go hit the switches. Yeah. They're pretty easy to find. You can set your respawn here if you want, just in case you die. I'm going to, because I have no health. <laughs> That's a good call. I should have made you bosses. <laughs> oh, is there a water cool in here? Not in Probably this one. Because we're not in the fine we're not in the end room. Uh, well, it's fine. I don't actually need it. So we just have to have break breakers outside. Mm-hmm. All right. You can usually just fight? follow the wires. So one of them is uh, over here. Uh. You should just push E on them. I think they changed. Oh, the, yeah. I see. It's those things. Yeah. I thought I could have swore in the early access version they made you smack them with a hammer, but since you can't use the hammer underwater. I think they changed that. Cabbage of good. Belgium. Oh, I might die. Uh oh. There is spiders down here. Of course there are. 
Tell you what, every move is so exaggerated. There's this. the one. The little spider cave back there. <laughs> so behind the destroyed part of the wall, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it is there so. stuff in there worth going and getting? That connects out to the other part of the pond and like the. Oh okay. Yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of like. Winding tunnels. Seriously. So inside of here. Okay, you can go in here. Inside of here, we go up and then over. There's a scab schematic and milk molar. I hope nobody minds that I'm kind of focusing on uh, gathering right now. You, yeah, I'm, you do. Uh, like, I'm seeing bones yeah. and, and scales, and I'm just going for them. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, they're very, very good <laughs> to have. And I, plenty I, of. I will gladly... I, I would like the koi armor. I, I think I would like to try a little bit of melee. And it seems like the koi yeah, armor man. is a good go-to. Yeah, I'm going to go back and get the more O2. Actually, Wander, if you want to follow me. Madi uh, as well, probably. O2 first. Don't worry about you. Yep. Up into the the big shiny thing in the middle. Because oh. we hit all the breakers. Madi's already up here, I think. Oh, no. I, I went back to the... I oh. thought we had to go back and then pull the lever after hitting them all. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, why is that door closed? Oh. I think it just closes. It doesn't yes. like Wander. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. So that's oh. a shortcut back to the room? Oh, oh it is. Nice. That's cool. So Maudie can just go through the room then? No, but he's got to go oh. through the big door. The cool door. That's fair. That is fair. And it's now fair. we proceed into the actual pond lab, now that we've opened it. Oh, okay. So down Which here... Way? Do we do we need to fight stuff in way? here, or no, not really? Yes, there's robots. Muscle sprouts are good stuff. <laughs> Wild pencils. Max. Max, what are you? What, what are you, my friend? Whatever it takes. Uh, oh, crap. Lantern, lantern, lantern. Oh, my other lantern broke. That makes sense. Hello. All right. <laughs> Summon through all, all them tunnels. <laughs> Oh my lord, this is yep. janky. I'm going to try and hang back a little bit so I don't end up just bouncing on people. Drawing my knife. I'm downed. Okay, I'll go for the the uh, diving bell spider and then try and get you up inside. You can't res Did underwater. You can't? Nope. You big, big That's dead. Massively annoying. It's oh, it's rough. Uh, it's actually aside from the damage I took to my armor, I'm glad I died because it healed me. <laughs> uh, I saw the ginger spice come up, so I'm guessing one of us broke the clay. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Did I? Oh, sick! I didn't drop my backpack that time. Cool. Oh, nice. All right. Dr. Applebaum. Ooh. Is he aging faster? Oh, we've done a loop. Oh. At some point at the end of this, I will pay attention to the lore. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, yeah. Now, Penta, we already went that way? Unless there's another branch. Is this, uh, is this what I'm thinking it is? Hold on, that's the wrong button. Oh yeah, this is this. Never mind. We need to go back to Hello, the room. Robots. Yeah, we need to go back to the room that had the, uh... How can I life steal off of a robot? Are you saying that robots don't have life? 
I'm just confused. Maybe your hard robot. Down in this one, the door yeah. that was closed before. He's outed himself a shortcut. as a replicant. I believe we can go through here now. Or is this just back here? This is back here. It's been so long since I've done this. Friendly fire. You guys just picked up a uh, crow feather. Yeah, dude, I picked up two. Just drop them down for you, mate. Thank you. All right, so which way are we going in here? I'm actually, I'm turning around. I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I've done it. Is it right here? Lab. No, this is. This is, is, it is, right here? Is, is it here? Is it where are we going? I feel like didn't we? Did we not hit this button? We did the bio this? terminal. We did hit that button. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's I here where like I am. It. Yep, here. I'm going to come back down to the doorway. Roger, roger. It's this one right here. Oh, yeah, the one that has the Muscle Sprout logo on it. Yep. Ah. Mm. Why are your cousins so violent? Why does this one have a bomb strap to it? That's an arc, 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 R. They do a J. Yeah, they're a pinch whacker. Right. Oh my lord. Oh god, it bounces. Yep. Ah. How long does this last? Oh, there we go. Nothing to scan. It feels like it's been a long time since we had anything to scan. It makes me sad. Ooh, Pretty soon, no my cat. Water, water cooler. What? So, wow. up here, grab these. Uh, Marty. Eh? On the outside of the ring, muscles. By the way, you can uh, you can scoop off the water cooler too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so, so there's the duper disc. All? all right, get ready for it, boys and girls. Get ready for what? The dome oh, is opening. Oh no! Well, there's no siren or anything. Come on. Cool music though. Yeah. So muscle sprouts are kind of horrifying. They, yeah, they're they're like bicep uh, Brussels sprouts. An edible hybrid Brussels sprout, chewy muscle flaps, ripe and flexed, restores <laughs> hunger when eaten, but also mm. causes pain. Oh, sprouts did you find these? Sprouts, take it away. This is where they grow. Yeah, this is this is what the research of them was. So will they regrow on these little stems? Yep. Oh, and wow. pre one pre one point two, you had to come back in oh, here to get them. Look at the Post one point two, you can ten Mbps. <laughs> We're living in the what? future. And you go up there, you look like, at the land. Oh, it's man. like yeah. land connected at ten Mbps. It's like wow. <laughs> Surely, and, uh, if we're smaller, that should be more data, right? Yeah. Sure, so sure. now in the current build of the game, we can actually grow muscle sprouts on the base at the base, hey. which is nice because they make they just make incredibly superior uh, slushies. Enough. Drink they or like, die. What do you mean drink or die? Drink or die. Are we how done? Am I thirsty? There's a water fountain in there, or water I water I was, bubble. I was like, how am I thirsty? Yeah. Makes no sense. Is that it for the water lab? We all good? That's where we, get, uh, we got the chip. Where are we gonna find the mossy key and open that chest though? <gasps> yeah, we should yeah. we should get the mossy key. So follow me. Oh god, the koi's mm -hmm. on his way. The oh, koi god. is currently bugged. We can reset him so he swims around. He tends to get caught on uh, da uh, lily pads, but there's an option to reset bug positions in the game, and it's basically reset entity positions. Because he's he's never gonna move again until that gets in. So, if you have O2, you can follow me. If you don't, we go in this cave. This is the wait. It sounded like both options were to go into the cave. Exactly. <laughs> There's there should be spiders. Wrong cave. This is not, this is a science cave. Why have you led us astray, Penta? We trusted you. What part of the pond am I in right now? Oh, that's right. We came out of the pond lab. It's over here. Uh, 
I'm not used to being on this side of the pond. I really am never on the like fishing net or the the the, the net side of the pond. Your oxygen. Mm -hmm. Not doing. Oh, yeah, I need to kill this diving bell spider. And by diving bell spider, I mean water boatman. I think I, had I, I, I think I swam past it again. I'm so lost. It's way darker than I remember it being. They've definitely made the underwater way darker. Or it's just becoming nighttime and I'm crazy. It is becoming nighttime. Is it oh. this cave right down here? No, this is the T-Rex cave. That's where we went in already. Yeah, it's 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 a hole in the side of the pond surrounded by algae. Very similar to the last one, but it's bigger. But it's in the I'm side? Dead. It's in like the that? side of towards the oak tree, not the north side, the south oh, side. You had so much to live for. Yeah, I did have a lot to live for, but unfortunately... I take a lot of damage and I'm just this is gonna be a costly gear repair that's fine I I wish I remembered where these things were there's three of those if I remember correctly unless they added a, a new one there's three of those chests in the game okay. this is the first or second one depending on how you how you go and where you go. So we're still looking for a cave at the a side. A cave of the at the base of like the oak tree wall. Oh, okay. <gasps> Did the koi finally break free? Did I? I feel like it's over by where Wander is. I feel like I'm just losing my mind and it's actually on the Dome you side of discovered it. a wedding ring. Old. Yeah, I did. It was on the uh, it was on the boards in the lab. The wedding ring is made of gold. I assume has some significance. It had W and T, so I'm assuming it's the Wendell Tully. Samwise Gamgee. Bear the load. <laughs> oh no. Is that it? I found a cave. I think that's the one. Yep. It has got some marble in it and it's got a yeah, that's, This is this is the yeah, this is the algae cave. Okay. <gasps> Science! Raw spiders! spiders! Raw spiders! Oof. Where the heck I are you guys? How easily they can change elevation into water. He got himself stuck, so I'm just gonna leave. Oh. Oh, he's unstuck. Uh oh, I am taking damage. How can I drink this underwater? That makes no sense, but I approve. Power of straw. Ah, there we go. Sense. That should be our next resource. Stack size. Nice. This knife, I have decided, is not particularly useful for engaging enemies underwater. I was really hoping the, the spider knife would poison them. Much forward. Well, I've, I've got like 60 seconds of oxygen. There's really nothing in here except for the key and spiders and like resources. So if, if you got a backup, you got a backup. There's a soggy root that's holding some yep. pieces. I'll, oh. Milk more. Yeah. I'll get it. Okay. Oh, those are milk here. Yeah, yeah, those are the underwater, underwater ones because you can't use a hammer. Ugh. I was inside one of you for a moment. 
This is the cave where you should. Oh, there's another slime lantern. Nice. Frost. I desperately require. Kill the spider. Yeah, kill it. Oh, thank goodness. That was like <laughs> so last second save. Is there yeah. more to this? Oh, there's more. Yep. Follow and wander. Down? Or... Which way are we going? I have become discombobulated. The enemy's gate is down. Ah, right, I see it. I never Long actually watched the movie. Ended. Was it as bad as people said? So it now wasn't we can get oxygen. Anus? Uh, whoever the actor they chose to be the, like, mentor, I forget. Go Ironsides? Was it Ironsides? I don't know. I don't know. It was Harrison Ford. Uh... No, there was Harrison Ford, but then they had one other guy covered oh. in, like, mega yeah, yeah, tattoos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, it, it wasn't Ironside. Iron um, Wait, what? I forget his name, I'm afraid. He played... Wait, the, Wait did we uh, just connect this to the... I, to the I don't original. like interrupting people, but I was I was being... <laughs> I was going to say, that's the cave that's in the oak tree. We, we just uh, went up to get oxygen. Oh. But I don't want to interrupt the conversation, so... Gotcha. Coming back. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't terrible, but I don't think I'd watch it again. Ooh. So wait, Penta, where do we go? Shine bright. There you, did are you, did one of you guys pick up the key? I don't think I have. I don't feel like we swam past it. Oh no, it's in here. Where is here? Penta discovered. Or, nope, it's not in here. This is just a spider in a dead end. Well, someone probably Ow. needs to go. So it's fine. Politely, politely not be stuck in the ground, Mr. Spider. That would be excellent. Yeah, I found some venom arrows. Oh, I have discovered the way back out to the pond. There should be like an offshoot cave on the way to that first diving bell spider spot we had. And it just, it's, yeah. it's a little room and the mossy key is just leaning against something on the base of the floor. And I'm losing my mind because I could have swore it was this room, but this room has the milk molar in it. I'm going to head out and grab some air. Yep. So this is this is kind of what I was bringing up earlier about the underwater sections and if you so I warned if they've got issues with like small spaces. Yeah. Pretty There we go. Small narrow underwater passages are not uh oh, not my favorite. Hey. Fun facts. Oh, never mind. I thought for a second I could use my rapier underwater. I got really excited. Yeah, I tried, and sadly, no. It was like in my hand. I'm like, oh, maybe? Got out of this clay while I'm here. I think. Oh, uh, the world is going to progress now, isn't it? Yep. Uh, very slightly. Our base is now spiders. All the walls? Replace with spiders. I actually don't remember what Pond Lab introduces. I I feel like I'm possibly the only person in this playgroup that would uh, be excited by that. I like spiders. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't yeah, mind. Granted, I might not like them as much if I was the size of their food, but... Where's this cave? That's the cave back to the oak tree. Wonder has found something. I think this is the cave back to the oak tree. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Might be. Uh, yeah. You go know, back up into the in, up into by Burgo, yep. which we could just go in there and give him the pawn chip as well. We probably don't Here, need. I'll do that. You guys go find the say, key. We I'll... don't need all four people in yeah. the cave. Yeah. Yeah. 
I just uh, I'll head with Wanda then in that case because it, it is like I think we're constantly bumping into each other basically as it is. I'm yep. just getting a. Hey, I'm getting a visual headache from <laughs> these caverns. Like the left side of my eyeball is starting to itch. It's not good. Fergus. Damn it. Virgo, where are you? Oh, yeah. I'm mostly upset because I could have swore we were in the room with the mossy key, but we ne didn't. It wasn't there, or we didn't. I just didn't see it. It's not in here. The embiggening cell. <laughs> I I love the response from Burgle. Yeah, all natural flavoring is not, in fact, uh, natural. The did did you see the predecessor line or no? Uh, I think you said surprise me when he. Yeah, said he was like, "Do you want the good news or the bad news? Surprise me." No, that was fantastic. I loved it. Life gives you lemons. Close your eyes and imagine its delicious lemon crime. Um. Hmm. That's one of the drinks in the game's lore. Oh, yeah. I thought it was this universe's version of be gay, drew, do crime. <laughs> okay. That's very interesting. Body, I think I, I have some bad news. About able what? to keep up with what was being said there. That was very interesting. Sorry if I'm going a little fast. That's okay. what, is, what is the bad oh, news? It actually loops. We're in the wrong cave. That's the cave to get the... Oh, God damn it. Yeah, that's the cave that we get the I Venom arrows. I'm just can't do 3D underwater spaces. My brain. My poor human brain. What? Fish, go away. Uh, right. Alright, I'm gonna well, get max mutations increased. Chunk. There we go. Uh, chunk. I actually don't even see anybody on my HUD. We're all left. Level. You're on your own. No, I just like all of my, all of the markers are gone. I think I must have hit a hotkey. Are we going for the resource stack size? I yeah. think that's why we were saving. Yeah, yeah. I'll grab that now then. Nice. Why are there backpack markers? We want. Buoyant foundations. We could build a base on the water. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Earth bases. Oh, we need this. Would that not be incredibly useful? Building on the water? Yeah. It's... it's. I guess we'd yeah. probably still get harassed by mosquitoes. Well, we've got plenty of science. I can definitely pick it up. Grab that. Gonna grab the curved bases as well, if that's okay. Yeah, go for it. You... Now, there's a couple of cookbooks in here. Ooh. I know Penta was jonesing for some new recipes. Uh, I forget what the pond... The fun... pond lab gives us tad... Tad... <laughs> tad... Ple... Ple... Plioka. It's... Try not to pronounce that dang word. Uh, mm -hmm. it's tapioca, but tadpole. Okay. Well, there's Pamplet Foundations. Those are pretty good. They are just a resource. It's a resource saver because it uses Pamplets and clay instead of four clay for a foundation. Oh, okay. We've got the cookbooks of Hedge 
and pond or pebblet foundation which do you guys think would be the best one to go for there's also buff lungs and daredevil mutation openers i don't think we need buff lungs or daredevil not yet okay well then if no one has any objection to me spending 2500 science of our remaining 3600 should i grab pebblet foundations sure, sure. Okay. You 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 are in the menu. You have control of the the funds right now. Whoever opens the menu, spend freely. You are the boss now. Wow. So Just make power. sure if you're uh, near one of those computers to grab a a new quest if there's one available. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll snag it. Sunken treasure. <laughs> hey, speak of the devil. Y'all. Oh. <laughs> Timing. Wow. Are you sure it's not something where the key didn't spawn in until we got the quest? No, I'm in the cave now. I just, I just, of the, there's so many caves in this freaking game, man. It's really easy to get my, get mixed up. All right. Are you, uh, are you still in the and water? And boom. Are you heading back to base? Hey, he's got the mossy key. Way. All right. I guess we're heading back to the water then. If you if you want to be there to see it on screen, yeah. Otherwise, it's just yeah. click on the chest and you grab a thing inside of it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Yeah. So the cave that I forgot was even there is actually down at the entrance of the lab where we were turning on all the switches. It's just behind one of those broken pieces of uh, tunnel. Oh, right back there. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. But yeah, the cave that we went into was a secret little cave that is where you get your first venom arrows. That's ah. like where you can get like a, a early recipe unlock for them. Uh, right, which way do I go from here? I'm trying to reorient myself. I think it's through the... Yeah, I think so. And then up. Follow the roots. I think. Yeah, there we are. Wait. Yeah? No? Ah. I think I am, in fact, lost. No. We also got the second badge trinket inside of that lab, which is a really good oh. one that one of you should be interested in. It's gas and dust resistance. Uh, mind if I take that? Yeah, it okay. gives you more or less poison resistance, so you do take more damage from poison, but gas and dust resistance build up which we don't we're not we don't encounter dust yet but for gas especially haze lab which if we have uh, the gas masks plus the toxicology badge it is pretty good I'm going back out to the lab I'm going to go to the pond yeah that's annoying all right, I'll just go out through the lab the normal way and then come back to the pond. Actually, oh. That sucks. What's wrong, was I was, you know, testing my might against the ladybug. Wolf spider. Just, yeah. you know, he got munchy. Oh, no. Well, while I am anticipating, I'm going to go get some more eelgrass because we definitely do need more. That's awkward to get up from there so I can get up there, maybe? I am so struggling to get out of this silly pond. And my lamp is gone. Damn it. Uh, let's try and make a regular torch. Of course, I don't have anything to do with that with. And well, then, I think it's probably my best interest just to keep trying to get up here. Uh, how do you get up from the pond just underneath the. Um, the lab with Burgle. Outside of like the windows that you can jump through, 
in the like broken part of the glass. You just jump down into the water, and there's the hole in the ground under the water. That's the cave you swim through. Yeah, I was I was trying to get up the other way, but it was just a matter of finding the right jumping platforms. Got it, and heading out now. I'm gonna have to come back in uh, to the pond the other way. I'm afraid. It's like couldn't navigate my way through. Got a little bit turned around underwater, and my lantern is gone. Which isn't great. Oh, I don't know where the spider came from. Oh well. Um, Marty, I think I'm, I'm really close away. to you. You might be, but there's a mosquito and two spiders. That does not sound like a fun time. Oh, the spider's um, killing the mosquito. That sounds like yeah, a Yeah, if you just hang on for a bit, the wolf spider might sh peace out. I really wish you could crawl. I know, right? I need something to eat. If there's anything left to eat. No, I've got rotten food. Sadly, cannot consume. I'm just going to go back to the base. I am over the water's edge where Moddy and Wanderer are. Yeah, but well, you gotta be the taking all that time, Panther. That's all good. I, I figured it was gonna be more, more of a urgent thing. I was just standing on a lily pad, so I'm just gonna continue playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, man. Sorry. It sounded like if everybody was like, "All right, let's go open the chest." So was, yeah. So I was just waiting, but. Yeah, I don't know. Alas, I got completely turned around in the lab, but I couldn't find a way out. Oh. Exactly. All good. Uh, uh, is anyone else wanting Wolf to go and see the chest open? Oh. Or is it just me? I'll be fine. I'm good. Well, with you right now, Panther, if you want to head back and open ah. it. It was a rather long adventure. Hello, many evils. Stamina regen. Are you guys fighting wolf spiders? Uh, it's kind of. I was running away from wolf spiders. Ah, that counts as fighting, surely. Yeah. My lantern is broken, so it's gonna be dark. But Fine. <laughs> I'm following you. Thankfully, your name shows up. Yeah, mine mine works for you now, but they're still not on mine. I don't know if it's a distance thing. Usually it's not, but... I don't even need the bubble. What am I doing? I can breathe forever. That's a pretty impressive mutation. You're going to have to share with us how you managed to get that one. It's a uh, level 10 lungs. Oh, here we are. Oh, baby. I should grab more algae, but I'm not going to. You can grab more when we go out. Boom. Is that? Mega, a that's a mega milk molar and the sunken treasure chip. Oh, right. Punk. Nice. So the sunken treasure chip, we need to return to Burgle, right? Return to Burgle for more unlocks. Peace. And I and there were three of those in the game, were you like secret treasure chips? That I remember. They could have added more, but there are three keys that you unlock chests with, and they each have a a super um, uh, optional super chip in them. Okay. Most of them leading to like most of them unlock like an end game, kind of like what Mahdi has, like an end game weapon. Right. A okay. uni unique weapon. I don't remember what this one gives. I am fascinated by how much game there is in this game. Yeah. There really is so much to it. We beat the Pond Lab, so now we're probably like 20%, maybe like 15. I'm going to switch over to my other gear. percent maybe 15? You mean of the way done? Of the way of if we were if we're talking like 100% completion like through the story, yeah. If we include optional content, yeah, we're probably like 15% done. Uh, <laughs> That's 
pretty impressive considering how much content we've gone through. Uh, do you still need weevils, Moddy? Um, I probably. I just need one to repair my shield, and then I feel like soon enough we're going to have the black ant shield. Yeah, Haze Lab is next, and honestly, that's not even... That's a way quicker, way easier... From memory, at least. Way quicker, way easier lab. Yep. I hope I'm right. Might be pretty tough with four people, though. From a both scaling Just standpoint. Exciting. Yeah. The do the downside of the pond lab is not being able to revive underwater. Yeah. The the downside of the haze lab is everything explodes. Um. Well, you've been to the haze. You've seen you've, you've seen the. No, no, actually, I haven't been to the haze yet. Oh, you were in the haze with us with the fighting the yeah. infected larvas and stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. And the infected like weevils that are kamikazes. That's right. That's the haze. Gotcha. That's the haze. Yeah. Yeah, that place was horrible. <laughs> yeah. Everything hurt. And then we'll oh, have to have the. Do. We'll have to have the group discussion of whether or not we're gonna. <laughs> block the weed killer with the gum nugget and change the game drastically. What are the pluses and what are the minuses? Uh, pluses, it makes the map more fun from like a fun standpoint, I guess. Minuses, the game's difficulty goes up a little bit. Because it, it, it adds a mob that is pretty ruthless. But without doing it, you'll never you'll never see that creature. So you miss out on that part of the game. Okay. Moddy, I'm dropping weevil meat and a weevil nose. There you go. Oh, I think I just need the meat. Oh, you can have it all. It's not giving you a choice. It's all yours. Yep. Repair. These are all fresh berry chunks again. I guess I'll pick it up. I'm gonna hot deposit a bunch of stuff. Hello, Burgle. Insert the duper disc. Bitter quartz, brittle marble shards, so much stuff. My lord. So now we have a level two super duper. So we can duplicate things at a max of 2000 science. Oh, nice. So how does all of that work again? Uh, everything in the game has a science value tied to it, and as long as you have the progression unlock, the duper disc for it, to duplicate it, you just pay its science value to make a, make a copy of it. Okay. So if That's I want to make a copy of my, co my Koi helmet, uh, I just need to pay 1300 raw science, and I can just duplicate my Koi helmet with its upgrades and everything on it. Oh, dang. I decided to mm -hmm. wait. It it includes the upgrades. I believe so. Do the upgrades increase the cost? It, it or yes. It takes to. Um... I believe so. Is the... I'm still not 100 percent on the the duper because it's new. So, mm -hmm. but I believe you duplicate the item and all of its upgrades. And it just like oh. if you have if you've used like whetstones and. Uh, Plating and stuff on it, it just add, adds some science cost to it. So it I looks like in that case, and flippers on the, one of the stands. We can eventually do the pinch whacker even. Yeah, once but we it's... beat the, I believe once we beat the haze lab, I think that's the final duper disc. We have the maxed out 3.0 dupe, and you can duplicate any item in the game. But it, so the, the higher tier items are like insanely expensive like 15,000 science for one item do we ever That's get the ability to chuck items into a wood chipper to turn it into science that I don't know oh uh, because that would <laughs> solve a lot of problems well so is there a maximum amount of science in the world then or is there some that respawns somehow 
the static nodes don't come back, but you can just keep doing daily quests. Oh, right. Oh, post chip. I don't remember what you give us. Uh, fin flops upgrade, diving lantern upgrade, and the splat burst level two grenade. That's right, I forgot the sticky bomb. Okay. okay, so what's next? Oh. Boom. Probably um, wrapping up if we want to do anything else. Yeah, I can't go yeah, actually, super yeah. late and it's already five. I yep. just noticed the time. Man, this session went past quickly, though. Yeah. But we oh, did actually know. get some progression done, actually. yeah. We did a, a lot. Yeah, we got the zip lot, lines. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the zip lines, yeah. Zip lines, sap collectors, pond lab. Mossy key. And then, basically, I have bombs, because I did those early on. I went and got the grenades from the red ant place. So, basically, next session, we can we get to theoretically go immediately do haze lab. Yeah, and also the the one blocking upper yard ascent, right? We can. <laughs> Still not there yet, equipment wise. We, that's, I mean, we can. I I'm all down for it. I'm I'm 100. If you guys want to explore the upper yard a little bit and just just to see how prepared we are, because. In a single player game, you could probably do upper yard a little earlier, but upper yard is like once you're done with all of the labs, except for the last two. So upper yard is post black ant lab. Right. Post sandbox. How many more labs in the lower yard do we have? So the black ant, the haze. Black ant and haze. That's it. Okay. Okay. And well, then I'm totally down for doing haze as soon as we, uh, start things up next time and then, cool. what we could do with the second bomb actually uh unless you guys really really want to go up and see the upper yard which i'm down for we can always make more bombs too uh the second bomb we could access the top of the picnic table Ooh. Mm -hmm. we could go up on the picnic table and that's a great place for zipline anchor points why it's very tall. Ah, okay. And eventually we're going to be able to go up zip lines, so you end up having a spider web of zip lines that go around the place. At least if the upper, if the two-way zip line works the way I, I think it does, which means as long as you have two points connecting, whether they're up or down, you can go from them. Then there's also a lot of other stuff up on the picnic table. Bees, there's... I mean, we don't have access to getting it yet, but that's where some Tier 3 materials are. Uh, that's how you access the sandbox without building into it for the first time. That's how you enter enter the sandbox. Uh, that's okay. where you can get the second of those treasure chests. That's where we can upgrade the coup de grass upgrade or mutation. The picnic table's yeah, it's got a lot of stuff. Nice. More bees. Lots of bees. Too many bees. Oh, dear God. I just noticed the, the actual expression on that gnome. Yeah, he's he's something. <laughs> yeah. I was just peeping the gnome for the first first time. Wonder, wonder, like, wonder. Oh, oh, God. Yep, this is, there you go. Donk. Ooh, yeah. Now, if I have that plus the other resistance perk, would that actually make it so I don't need a gas mask? Uh, no. There's a gas resistance perk? Yeah. Fresh defense. Oh, good lord. This crossbow oh, makes taking right. out bees. I actually Ooh, don't know. Really easy. I actually That's don't know about that one. Kind of horrible how easy this is making it. 
If you're fighting them by yourself, yeah, they don't have a ton of HP. If there's three people around you, then they get a little tougher. I actually don't know. That's a that's a good question, Wander. I, I don't believe... I know in the early access version, that badge actually made you immune to gas, and it was way too strong because you can get it right away. And it would it just it nullified the entire effect of the haze. Um I don't believe it makes you resist the actual like toxic effect of the weed killer biome. But with fresh defense plus that badge, the stink bugs might do almost no damage to you. Alright, I'm if gonna I'm go guessing. say hi to them in a second. Cause you should have we should all have actually we we should all have fresh defense too. We could theoretically get fresh defense three for all of us too. I, I just got it for myself. I wanna go do a test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh I don't need that one. I don't need that one. Body of fan. Yeah, fresh defense too, yeah. Alright. Gas resist, burn resist, sizzle protection. Let's see how stink I can deal with. Come on, stink me up, boy. <laughs> Think no. me. Uh, it does damage still. Okay. That said, mosquito rapier pretty much just offsets all the damage. I really wish there was stink bug armor. Mm. Because these guys have just become very easy now. Yeah, there's a. It's one of my one of my things is I wish there was more more sets of gear. There's there's a lot of choice. Like you're not you're you're kind of spoiled for choice already in the game. Tier three has a lot of different sets of gear that you can choose from depending on what your build is, but And then as far as like weapons are concerned, uh if you include the unique weapons, like what Mahdi's got, there's there's a there's a ton of weapons. Okay, well, one way or another, I can virtually solo stink bugs. I, I fought two stink bugs and only only lost half my health, and most of that was from just getting hit. So, good sign. I am adoring the damage upgrade of the crossbow. This is wild. <laughs> It is such a huge upgrade over the bow. But then again, I had a basic bow, so I, I doubt it's uh, that much of an upgrade over the T2 bow, but... I was feeling the T2 bow is kind of weak, too. I The crow crossbow does an insane amount of damage. You lose a little bit of shot speed, but it does a crazy amount of damage. Also, just the speed of it as well like the the velocity of the projectiles makes aiming so much easier all right but uh yeah i think uh Maldi have to head out uh wonder uh yeah you ready to wrap things up yeah it's a good time to wrap things up yeah. thank you guys for joining me joining us today yeah, it was me fantastic. everything i don't know Oh, uh, reset your spawn point, by the way, before you go. I already did, yeah. That is a very good call. As I had not, and that would have been a whoops. Yeah. Mm. No, thank you very much for reminding us. Wanda the savior. Respawn at bed. Why am I here? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very oh. much. Another fantastic session. I'm really happy with the amount of progress we made. I feel like yeah. I geared up a little bit and we got a, a lab and there's so many new things that i can build now or build with now which is the uh real focus for me where's uh, the duplicator the... by the way is that in the base or is that elsewhere the super duper it's is in the oak lab purple. it's with burgle yeah. ah got it a yeah, sap, things, sap, yeah sap sap plus know. access to burgle is the main reason that that was the first zip line i wanted to make Yep. Makes sense. I haven't taken the zipline yet. Oh, really? It's faster now. Because yeah. Sap 
is once we beat the I forget I think it's either the haze or the black ant lab. The reason sap is so valuable is sap is how you eventually can make infinite upgrade resources like the whetstones and plating. Oh. It's sap plus bug parts, so like brittle plating I think is like one larva spike and a sap and you can make plating. And then That's it's like spider helpful. chunks and sap and you can make whetstones for your armor and the later you get in the game, then you can start making infinite sturdy uh, whetstones and sturdy plating for tier two with sap. Sap is the crux to upgrade materials once we can make infinite amounts of them. Nice. Well, yeah. Before I jump off, I did want to ask something specifically to Avak because I think he's got the most experience out of any of the others here. I have been eyeing RimWorld so very much over the last month and a half. Get it? Very good game. Just get it. Very good game. Get it? The, play it. The question is, with how extensive the modding community is, is it necessary to spend like $120 on all of the the DLC and everything off the rip? Because that's okay. the most daunting part when I'm saving money with the move yeah. and everything. Okay, so a lot of the content that is in the DLCs are evolutions of um, big mods. Now that can the, the so on one hand, yes, you could get an approximate feeling for some of the the big parts in, especially like um, the vampires and stuff. I'm just um, gonna say, pick however, up the base. Don't worry about it. One thing I would say with that is a lot of those mods stopped being updated when, when the DLC the yeah. content was basically absorbed into DLC. Um, of the DLCs, in my opinion. Biotech adds the most. Is that the one that adds like all the genetics, the uh, extra yes. genetics and stuff? Gotcha. Yeah. And after that, I uh, uh, ideology, and then loyalty. Oh, In that order. Going. Um, gotcha. If you if you were go wanted to get one or, or two. Then, in my opinion, biotech adds the most content. Ideology then adds, and 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 the difference between ideology and biotech is is minimal. And it, I think it largely comes down to like personal preference. But royalty is way down below those two in terms of the actual content it adds. Gotcha. 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 Yeah, it is on sale right now. It's just anytime I see something like that, I'm always like. It's, I know it's probably great DLC, but also there's a modding community. Am I going to be more interested in mods than the actual? But yeah, if, it, if that's where it started, was mods that kind of became full-fledged additions. Yeah, not all of it, but, uh, you know, I don't... <laughs> It's Obviously, you don't want to like try to run toast or anything like that. Uh, but uh, quite a lot of the content that were in very popular mods got in like taken up and then polished and then like, woven into the actual bones of the game. Um, so the DLC obviously does things that the, I'm not sure modding could do, or at least not as cleanly as the DLC does. Uh, but mm. yeah, definitely uh, the modding community is massive, yeah. so you do not need all of the DLC. Um, but if you were going to get any of it, um, Ideology or Biotech would be the first one I would I would get, depending gotcha. on your flavor of sci-fi. Well then, I suppose it's a good thing that I can make games tax write-offs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, thank, thank you, you everyone. That was absolutely wonderful. And uh, I will catch you all next, next week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait for the black uh, blank ant lab. That's going to be pretty awesome. Who's Haze scary? lab. Haze lab is probably going to be immediately. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I need to figure out which chest I put my gas mask in. Then. <laughs> yeah. They're all over the place. But yeah, definitely. With with, uh, with Rimworld, everything adds something. Um. The Royal DLC adds in like the the psi, the psionic abilities. That's the chief mm. add from that one and a and a, fan, uh, a, a faction. But then, um, ideology adds enormous amounts of replayability, absolutely staggering amounts because of the way you can build different um, 
like ideology adds more replayability, but biotech adds more content, if that makes sense. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because like all the cults and things yeah. like that. Ideology drastically changes up how that that will play out. Um, be, you can you can have wildly different ones through ideology, whereas biotech adds, in a way, every run becomes the same ultimately if you play it long enough with bio uh, with biotech because eventually, all of your pawns are like you know fourth generation. Um, cyborg vampire super soldiers eventually it's kind of like Skyrim how everything you know eventually becomes stealth archer everything eventually becomes cyborg vampire super soldiers in bi biotech <laughs> but you know it takes a long time to get there and that's really fun there's a lot of variance in the in the content that's there but ideology adds more replayability and just the way your runs are structured Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I can't. I there's. It's so I just man. play RimWorld, the base base of it, and I just put a couple of mods on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. They've already got enough customization options in the storyteller that you can basically make your own game. And it's still just RimWorld at the end of the day. I don't need the fancy tech trees. I just. I just want to make sure that Robert doesn't set my heel root on fire. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, I'm going to jump on out then, but uh, definitely I'll let you know how that goes if I take my first foray into RimWorld. And also yeah, definitely. keep me posted on if we have any more thoughts about the Zomboid series as well. Yeah. That's what I was going to... Uh... I was going to ask Penta. I almost feel like that's something we got to ask Rito, though. Oh, uh, well. Maybe. I, we'll see. We're, if we're going to brand it as Wholesome Dead version 2, then probably. But yeah, we could fair. also just say, hey, we have an idea for this series and just see who all bites. And if we get enough people and want to call it a Wholesome Dead. I've, do, I've, done the, I've done my research on it, and it's just like... The wolf extraction mod is the only thing that kind of compares to the Kier mod because I don't. I, I know I told Avak, but I don't know if I told you, Madi, or anybody else yet. But the the original Kier mod is uh is dead. The oh, dev no. stopped working on it uh, due to health issues, and he made it freeware and made it open source so that people could continue working on it. But as of my last reading, no one's picked it up yet, so it's kind of. And it's not compatible with the current build of the game anyway. So people who Dang. are playing with it are playing on a rolled back version of the of Zomboid. However, Wolf Extraction is an endgame mod for it that just popped up over the summer. And it is you and your group spawn in areas or random areas and you have to you have a time limit. You have to build a military radio, receive a signal, and then make it to an extraction point within a certain time limit, or you get left behind and die. Ooh, I like that. And yeah, of of the ex the static extractions that are in the game right now, five of them are in Louisville. One of them is in Muldraw, and I'm like, well, it would be Louisville because that's the scariest area of the entire map, and that's if you're gonna have like a final, you know horde while you're waiting for the chopper to land why not do it in like a you know the scariest part of the map <laughs> yeah I mean, it just it just thematically and narratively you know it seems satisfying mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and I then you have the, the build up to it where you have to find the parts mm -hmm. build the thing receive the signal and then prep not die and make it there and then survive the extraction so it's there's, it's layered stress. Yeah, I think it'll be really, really cool. Let's let's actually. I, I mean, assuming that there isn't more research that you want to do to be certain that you've covered all grounds and stuff like that. Let, let's get a move on with this, like, and actually field it to the rest of the rest of the peeps and see how many people are interested. Because I am absolutely down with this. Yeah, we and can The longer we it. wait, the closer to another big update we get. Yeah, the, we can feel that the only other research I'm doing is compatible mods along with it. Quality of life stuff, mm -hmm. because there are, when you're dealing with a big mod like that, yeah. some things don't inter integrate very well. 
That so, is a very good point. I want to make sure I mean, that like the double handed backpack where you can like put your baseball bat on your backpack because that's a mod that a lot of people in mod packs run. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like water yeah, bo- yeah, no, water absolutely. bottles on your water bottles on your belt belt loops stuff With like that. that sort of those... Stuff though, like as long as we know what the the because like the wolf and the cure mods changed this the kind of game it was going to be for the players, mm-hmm. whereas the quality of life mods don't really change that that's just something that can that can be worked out once or as we're getting feedback on who's interested if that makes sense like if if the we've nailed down the main like the big kind of theming mod that we that we're interested in using we can probably just reach out now and and you, you can continue doing the like um QL this is, test. i just put it in the in the ground i think that's that's the wolf extraction Oh, perfect. I'll bring that up. But yeah, no, I think that, that sounds... like what, The way you pitched it to me sounded perfect. It sounded really, really fun. Um, so as long as we've got, like, the main, like, I, I guess, thematic notes of... Well, not, like, th- theming in the roleplay sense, but theming in the... Um, the feeling of the, the way the game's going to be set up from the, like, player perspective sense then mm-hmm. we could just reach out at this point. Yeah, and the, the latest update to it is the one that I really sold me on it because they added a like a sandbox option quest option you can put into it. By default, before the last update that the mod had, from the moment the server is created, the quest is active and you have a time limit, but they added an option in the newest update where... The moment you build the antenna and call the military, that's when your time limit begins. So you have more mm-hmm. prep time, you have more, you know, so it, it adds more dynamics to the opening of it. But yeah, yeah, if we get the get the ball rolling on it, I'm down for it. But, but. yeah, yeah, because this way we've got like the way I'm, I'm figuring it is the sooner we make people aware that this is a thing that is looking to happen, yeah. the faster um, we can get answers, obviously, but more than that is the more chance that people are going to be able to massage their schedules to make it work. The only, pers- the, the only person that I know is aware of it outside of us four was Lalash. I brought it up to him during one of his, his streams I popped in, mm-hmm. and I was like, hey. <laughs> and he's just like, let me know. I'm like, all right. Yeah. Because he he's the the idea of like a more serialized end game, yeah, is much more caterable to people like Rito, I'm sure, where it has like yeah. a point A, point An B, point. point C, yeah. And if we die, we die, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think I think definitely, um, if you're feeling comfortable with it, we should pop like uh, just a quick message in the. I'm looking for more thread and just if you know just basically feeling who's on the surface of, of, of the, the this sort of like um, outline of what the series would be who is interested if there is enough of us then it, it could be wholesome dead too assuming you know uh, enough of the uh, people who really wanted to be in wholesome dead too are able to make it because um, if not then you know it doesn't need to be wholesome dead too would mm-hmm. want take that from anyone um like like Marty said like it doesn't need to be wholesome dead too it could just be a different series with a lot of the same cast yeah because i feel like if it's going to be wholesome dead i think the the, the linchpin there is whether or not rito wants to do it because if, if rito's not into it i, have, wholesome I dead. don't yeah. i don't want to yeah exactly it as wholesome exactly dead. yeah no i'm i'm, I'm with <laughs> absolutely with wonder on that statement there but I know but, that he was, you know, he always reacted with interest whenever we were talking about Zomboid. Spoiler alert, Rito just likes playing games with people. Yeah. Yeah, which is absolutely... We could, if, if, I, if one of us were to put, post in the, the looking for more chance, say, who wants to do a tic-tac-toe Let's Play collab? <laughs> Rito would probably still give it the thumbs up. He'd be like, I'm interested. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's get this out there. Let's find out what's happening because you know if we if nothing else know whether it's going to be wholesome dead 2 or just something else then you know we can get some some forward momentum going with it then 
Sounds good. All right. Well, I will keep my eyes peeled for a post. And other than that, uh, I guess see you all Wednesday slash next Sunday. Yeah. I'm going to update my, my Word document because we knocked out everything except for Tier 2 shovels. Everything that was on the Word document was accomplished today. Progress and Grounded was massive today. So. Nice. Yeah, nice. And then the next time, Haze Lab. Look forward to that. And once we Haze Lab should be within like the first hour, Haze Lab should be done. And then we can go on a on a big adventure, new territory to the western part of the yard. All right, sounds perfect. Sounds good, gentlemen. Until then, bye bye. Right. Bye bye. Take care, everyone. Bye -bye. Catch you next time. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the stream for today. I know we were just kind of hanging out and doing uh, management talk towards the end there, but that's fine. Uh, anywho, so thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for coming out tonight, and we'll see you next Sunday. Or if, you're, uh, if you've been watching my Lobotomy Corporation streams, I will probably be doing another one within the next couple of days. But for now, goodbye. Of course... No, I'm trying to just alt-tab.